on, come on, come on, man, get alive. Hallelujah. <laughs> what an awesome privilege it is this morning. Hallelujah. To be alive and well. Come on, let everything that had breath. Come on, let everything that had breath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us not wait until the church full up before we start to praise God. The word of God says where two or three of us are gathered, touching anything concerning his name or his will. He is what? In the midst of us to bless and to do good. And we are more than two or three this morning. So we are going to worship the Lord. Because what if nobody else come this morning? We are here. And so we give God thanks for life this morning. Come on, let everybody just lift your hands and just thank God for life this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is indeed a good God. He is a gracious God. He is a faithful God. He is a merciful God. The writer said the steadfast love of the Lord, it never ceases. Hallelujah. His mercies never comes to an end. They are what? New every morning. And we say great is his faithfulness towards us. Can I ask everybody to stand this morning? And I'm going to ask everyone as much as possible if you can come to the altar. Remember, we are in fasting service this morning. And we're going to take it to a level this morning where the Lord will be glorified. So we're going to come, concentrate on him. Hallelujah. Give him our all and not just a part. Submit and surrender this body, this flesh this morning. Hallelujah. We want to put it on the subjection. Because there are times when we come to fasting and the flesh, we're tired, we want to sleep. We feel sick and, and the stress and the distress and all the problems them come down upon we. And so we are here, but we are not here. But this morning we want to lay aside the weight and the things that so easily beset us this morning. And we want to commit ourselves. We want to commit the fasting service this morning. We want to concentrate upon him and worship him this morning. And as we come Commit ourselves to him this morning and say, Lord, here I am. Take me as I am this morning. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. Purify me, Lord, and make me whole. Allow me, Lord, to have that spirit of worship and praise of this morning so I can lift my hands in the sanctuary this morning and give you the glory, hallelujah, and give you the honor, hallelujah, that is due unto your name. We say, Lord, be glorified this morning. Be glorified this morning. So I'm asking the praise him to just to do a consecrated consecration song and then we'll all consecrate ourselves I'll consecrate myself and you consecrate yourself to his service this morning in the name of Jesus hallelujah me again, hallelujah Lord. hallelujah touch me again Lord. this moment I feel this, this moment, moment I feel like a fresh touch. Like a fresh touch. I need. Oh, touch me again, Lord. Oh, touch me again. Touch me again. Touch me again, Lord. This moment I feel, hallelujah. I feel like a fresh touch I need. Like a fresh touch I need. Oh, touch me again, Lord. Touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. Time 
Touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. Hallelujah. Touch me again, Lord. This moment I feel. This moment I feel. Like a fresh touch. Hallelujah. We all need a fresh touch of this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Touch me again. Hallelujah. We all go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. You are exalted. You are magnified. You are lifted up, oh God. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We submit ourselves this morning. Hallelujah. We commit our lives into your hands this morning, Lord. Take me as I am this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not worthy to stand in your presence without you, Lord. But we thank you that through the blood of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we have the power and the access and the right, the authority to come into your presence boldly, Lord, to your throne. Hallelujah, we are flesh, we are human, Lord. And sometimes, Lord, we are prone to sin, Lord. And so we ask this morning that you will wash us again, Lord. We ask that you will purify us again, Lord. Hallelujah. We ask that you will search us, O oh God, and know our hearts, Lord. Try us and know our thoughts. See, my God, if there is any wicked ways in us this morning, cleanse us from every sin, Lord, and set us free. Hallelujah. We present the morning, hallelujah, this morning service into your hands. Hallelujah, we can do nothing without you, but we can do all things through you. Strengthen it us this morning. And so as we come this morning, we ask that you will strengthen the inner man. We ask that you will strengthen the outer man, Lord, our bodies. That as we come, Lord, we praise you, we adore you, and we lift you up this morning. Hallelujah, because your word said, if I be lifted up, from this earth, then I will draw all men unto you, unto me. And so, God, we lift you up in our praises this morning. We lift you up in our prayers this morning, oh God. We lift you up as we read the word this morning, God. As we sing songs of adoration. Hallelujah. As we glorify and fellowship. Hallelujah. One with another this morning. We say, have your own sweet way, God. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you this morning. Come, sweet Spirit, we pray. Come in your strength and in your power. Come in your own gentle way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the Shekinah glory fill the temple this morning. As the praises of your people comes up in your sanctuary. Hallelujah. Let your Shekinah glory. Hallelujah. Envelop this place this morning. Ah, oh God, and we will worship you as no one else ought to be worshipped. Lord, we focus on you this morning and you alone. And so we give you thanks for hearing us. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the blessings. As we say, amen and amen. Thank you very much. You may go back to your seat. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm calling on the praise team to continue in our praise and worship. And then I'll come back with the devotional exercise. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we exalt the name of the Lord this morning? Shout hallelujah in the sanctuary this morning. Come on, it's the highest praise this morning. Hallelujah. 
We give you all the praise, Almighty God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We enter into your gate with thanksgiving and into your court with praise. We are thankful unto you this morning and we bless your name for you have been good to us, Almighty God. Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord? What a mighty God we serve this morning. Our God that is always victorious. Our God that is always watching for us. Our God that never lost Jesus, the back. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come before you with singing. We come before you rejoicing this morning because you have been good to us, Almighty God. Come on, shall we praise the name of the Lord? Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord this morning? Oh, we worship you, Almighty God. You have been good to us, Lord God. You brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. Oh, God, many have passed and gone, but we are still here this morning. Hallelujah. Another chance to worship you. Another chance to give you praise. Glory to the most high God this morning. Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to the most high God. High God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you are more precious than silver. Lord, you are more costly. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamonds, and nothing I desire compares to
Lord, to come and dwell among us today, Jesus. Even so, even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so, even so, come and take your bride away. Oh, my soul, oh, my soul, long to be with you, my Lord. Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we exalt the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you very we much, the praise team. Don't go too far. So, um, we'll, if you have your hymnals, I'm not sure of the number. I'm not sure of the number. For the devotional song, Search Me, O Lord. So, if you have your hymnals, you can just look at the index for that Glory song, the most or you I can God. follow on the monitors. All right, so we'll be standing again, and we'll be going into the song, Search Me, O God, and know my heart today. Try me, O Savior, know my thoughts, I pray. See if Bless there be it. some wicked way in me. Cleanse me from every sin and set me free. Praise him, go ahead. Hallelujah. Shall we bless the name of the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, shall we exalt the name of the Lord this Hallelujah. morning? Hallelujah. Come on, lift up the name of the Lord this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah to the most high God. Search me, O God, and know my heart, I pray.
love this verse. We say, Lord, take my life and make it holy thine. Fill my poor heart with thy great love divine. Take all of my will. Hallelujah. Talking about totally surrendering to God. My passion, myself, and my pride. I now surrender, Lord, in me abide. Hallelujah. This is a prayer for our hearts this morning. Can I ask you all to stand? And before I read the scripture, we'll do the prayer of confession, repentance, and thanksgiving. So we have already started with confession and repentance. So we don't even have to go that part right now. We'll just go into um, the prayer of thanksgiving. Or after we have made our petitions and requests, uh, make it known with thanksgiving. So we are all going to just pray right now and ask the Lord and give him thanks rather for his blessings upon us today as we worship him in spirit and in truth, everybody. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name one more time. Hallelujah. We worship and adore you. Awesome God you are. Mighty, hallelujah, and powerful. Hallelujah is your name. Hallelujah. There is no one like you, God. There is no other God. Hallelujah. Save Jehovah, God. All other gods are idols made with wood, out of wood and stones. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. Hallelujah. Ears they have, but they cannot hear. They have mouth, but they cannot speak. Lord, they have hands, but they cannot do anything. Lift up their hands to do anything. They have feet, but they cannot walk. But we serve, hallelujah, the true and living God. The one who hears us when we call. Hallelujah. The one who sees us. The one who stretched forth his hands to help us. Hallelujah. The one who is always in. Hallelujah. Every space that we are. So we serve a God. Hallelujah whose name is Jehovah Lord God Almighty is your name hallelujah we give you thanks oh God hallelujah we praise your awesome name we adore you mighty God hallelujah your name hallelujah is an awesome name we thank you God for waking us up this morning. We thank you Lord. For clothing us in our right minds. We thank you Lord. For health and strength. We thank you God for healing. Our bodies. Our minds. And our spirit. We thank you Lord God. For sending your son Jesus Christ. Thank you Jesus that you came. Thank you for the work. Hallelujah. The mighty work that has been accomplished on Calvary's cross. Had it not been for the place called Mount Calvary. Had it not been for the old rugged cross. Had it not been for the man called Christ Jesus. Then forever this morning our soul would be lost. And so we thank you Lord. Ah, God, that you choose the time to call us. Hallelujah. Before we were conceived in our mother's womb, before the foundation of the earth, you knew us, Lord. You called us. You predestined us, Lord, to be a part of this great family of God. The writer said, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain. I've been cleansed by your blood. I'm joined tears with Jesus. As I travel along, as we travel along, we thank you, God, that we are a part of this great family. We thank you for the church family that we can come together, Lord, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some is. But, Lord, we thank Thank you that you have given us the heart desire to seek after you, to seek after righteousness, to seek after holiness, to seek after truth. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
for our families. We thank you for our children, our husbands, our wives, our extended families, our brothers, our sisters, our aunts, our nephews, our nieces. We thank you for the great family that you have given unto us outside of the church. We just ask, Lord, that you will continue to bind us as a family together with cause that cannot be broken. And those who are not yet saved, God, hallelujah, we continue to thank you for their salvation. God, we thank you for the man of God. Oh, God, the angel of this house, uh, Reverend, hallelujah, Ruel Robinson, Sister Ruth, uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, Aurel and Olivia. Lord God, we thank you that you have sent them here for such a time as this. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding uh, have been given to the man of God. We pray, God, uh, we thank you for strength uh, for his body, strength in his mind, uh, strength in his spirit. Uh, Lord God, I know the work of God, hallelujah, is heavy, oh God, and as human, sometimes he feels, oh God, as if he cannot make it, I can imagine that there are times when he feels like he would want to give up and throw in the towel, but I thank you for your grace this morning, I thank you for your mercy this morning, I thank you for your steadfast love upon them, Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, that you are, oh God, who you are. Oh God, who you said you are. And we believe you, God. We thank you for the word that you have given unto us. Lord, thy word we have hid in our hearts. That we might not sin against you. The entrance of your word gives light, Lord. And so we thank you that we are guided by your words. Oh God, and all we need to do, oh God, is to be obedient to the word that you have spoken to our hearts and to your spirit. To our spirit. And so God, we just want to thank you for everyone who present them self here this morning. Thank you for those who are online. Hallelujah. Who are listening. Hallelujah. And more of them. Oh God, watching on YouTube. Hallelujah. Wherever they are. Wherever. Oh God. We just ask, Lord, that you will just pour out your special blessing upon them this morning as they join us in worship. And so God, we just thank you. We thank you for the word that shall be given. We thank you for the testimonies this morning that they will be fresh. Oh, God, anointed word and anointed testimonies. We thank you, Lord God, that your people shall praise you as never before this morning in your sanctuary. We thank you that we have shifted the focus from ourselves, Lord. Hallelujah. And we have shifted the focus to you, mighty God. And so, God... Accept our praise and an, our adoration as it comes up into your sanctuary. Hallelujah. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we all lift our hands and just magnify the name of Jesus? I tell you, there are so many things, so much, so much, so much to thank him for. Hallelujah. If we should start to really think of all the things that God has done from, uh, for us. Sometimes I go from before I was born and I start to come down and I start to step and follow the train from I know myself until this point. Hallelujah. Sometimes it comes, it becomes as if you can't stop thank the Lord because when he brings you back, hallelujah, and show you some things and some places where you went and what could have happened to you, but all because of his goodness. Hallelujah. Especially when we were teenagers, some places, some things that we would have done or want to do, but when we go back now that we are big and we look back on it and we say God you have been a good God. Hallelujah. So let us not forget to give God thanks. Hallelujah. Because indeed he is worthy. Hallelujah. To be praised. Hallelujah. Can we all stand, remain standing please as we turn our Bibles to the word of God. As we turn our Bibles to the word of God coming to us from Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to 39. Hallelujah. 28 to 39. 
can I ask everyone to read with me? Romans 8, verse 28 to 39. Together. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we say then to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justified. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again. Even who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of God? Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed. All the day long, we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I want to go back to verse 37, everybody. Nay, in all these things, we are what? We are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. Can we read that one more time? What an assurance. Nay, in all these things, hallelujah, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Amazing word of God. Right? I said, sing them over again to me. Wonderful words of life. God bless you. You may be seated. At this time, I would want to do the welcome. I just want to ask if there is any visitor here this morning, first time visitor, second time, third time, or regular visitors. Can I just see you standing? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have them all over, brethren. Can you put your hands together? And welcome our visitors. Come on, let me hear a rousing applause for your, our visitors this morning. We want to say how much we appreciate you this morning for coming. You have taken the time out of your busy schedule to be here this morning. You could have found yourself somewhere else. Hallelujah. But we want to say thanks to you this morning. Um... I am not sure if they are here as yet, but um, Brother Young's um, sister-in-law is supposed to be here from Sherwood Content and his niece, Mrs. Young and Sonia Young. I'm not sure if you are here. Can you just hold up your hands? I know they were on their way. All right, they're not in as yet. 
Hallelujah. But we're looking forward to having them worshiping with us all the way from Sherwood Content, um, New Testament Church. Yes. Hallelujah. So, yes. So, continue with the welcome. I want to welcome all my brothers and sisters here this morning. And I want to tell you that I love you. Do you love me? Blow me a kiss. I love you with the love of the Lord and with my love. And I love to be in your presence. The writer said, I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. And my brothers and sisters, you know, look here, you feel sick and tired. And, you know, when, when we come among each other, we should be able to draw that energy, don't it? We should be able to draw that energy energy from each other. You know, true, like when the car want gas and go to the gas station and they put in the gas. And then when you turn on the engine, yeah, you hear it come up, yes. So you feed the engine. So when we come into the house of the Lord, we come to feed each other. You know, and that's why, you know, it's awesome when we come and we gather together. So we don't sit too far from one another. Because when we sit over this one, you sit on over this one. When a little spark fly, you reach in the middle. Now, nobody if you catch, so you hold. But when we sit together and come, especially with unity and oneness, and you say amen over there, and the next person say hallelujah, don't it? And you say glory to God, and somebody say thank you, Jesus. And everybody just come with that praise. Hallelujah. As a writer said, it's amazing what praises can do. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. So we give God thanks for you this morning. I want to acknowledge our fasting team. Sister Bennett, of course. And of course, the praise team always here. And of course, I want to acknowledge the multimedia team always here. Without them, I don't know what would happen, but the work would have to go on. But they enhance the service, don't it? Yeah, man, they enhance the service. And so we bless them for coming. And of course, our musicians uh, right here, drummers and everybody. Yeah, because we're going to say, when the music's there, we don't see nobody. So we can't go on like we don't appreciate them and take them for granted. So Everybody is important. Everybody is significant in the kingdom of God. Right? Yeah, man. So don't feel like you're not insignificant and you sit down in one corner. Come out of your corner and come up and let's worship the Lord together. So we want to thank those, of course, we don't forget the online viewers and listeners on More FM and YouTube. Hallelujah. As we always say, they are more than us. But we give God thanks all over the world, all over the globe. You will be surprised to know where we are. Sister Clark, man, Sister Clark always say, you have you are what? You are being watched. <laughs> so we say to us, we are being watched, right? So we give God thanks that we have our online audience. We say thanks, online audience, for worshiping with us. And we want to tell you that three water lane, Montego Bay, New Testament, Church of God, applaud you and thank you for joining us in our regular Wednesday fast. Fasting. Put your hands together for the online viewers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to not forget up and just let us sing this song. I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. And go, on, go, go, go around and greet somebody. Sometimes when we come, we sit on another one seat. Yeah, we sit down. Don't mass here. I call no name. Don't Maureen, I call no name. Don't Lurleen, I call no Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Don't Mel, I call no name. Right? So I want us to get up and just go around and greet somebody. Greet the visitors, them, and let them feel welcome. We don't want them to leave here and say, boy, what are them people, them selfish, me come here, nobody not greet me. No. So, praise him. Put it on. Get us go. I like the thrill that I feel. I like the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Like the thrill that I feel when I get together with those wonderful people. It's so nice to see those happy faces. Praise the Lord.
Amen. You see what I'm saying? Some people still not reach back and then see it yet, you know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. That's how we want it, man. Fellowship. Hallelujah. Important in the house of the Lord. We don't come to fasting with any schism and no resentment and no animosity. Hallelujah. And me can worship beside you and me can sit down beside you. Hallelujah. Me can greet you. None at all. Hallelujah. We come in fasting with a pure and a clean heart because only then when we put our petition to God that it will be earned. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. At this time, we'll be looking at our mission statement. Yeah, man. People still greeting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our mission statement. The New Testament Church of God. I'll just read it while you see it. A three water lane exists to win people to the kingdom of God and to disciple them for Christ. Be a loving, caring family to which people would desire to belong and engage in meaningful worship in which people encounter God. Become a fellowship of mature believers who have committed themselves to service both in the church and in the wider world. So we are called to serve both in the church and next door where we live. Wider world. Praise God. At this time, we'll go to our first intercessory prayer. Ten minutes allotted to Brother Burl Hilton. Officer Burl Hilton will be coming at this time. And he will be looking at um, intercessor prayer will be against abuse of our children, protection of children in facilities, schools, etc., and children's protection against cybercrime. Welcome, Brother Elton. Loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong, yes, Jesus loves to you, my brothers and sisters, those in house and those who are watching online. We give God thanks that he has brought us again into his house to praise his name. Now on my program, we have three segments of prayer, and we are going to take them one by one against abused children. That's number one. Number two, Protection of children in facilities, schools, etc., orphanages. Children's protection against cyber crime. My brothers and sisters, when I observe carefully, children are very, very important. We were children before, my brothers and sisters, before we became adults. And it's our children that are going to take over the church, take over the society. And if we do not protect our children... We, it will be hopeless. We love us as a lost society, a lost church. So you see, children are very, very important. In Matthew 19, 13 to 15, children were brought to Jesus to be blessed. And what happened? The disciples, they rebuked them. Just like how we have people in our society who ill-treat children, 
who treat them very bad. So you see, they thought Jesus was tired, etc. And the children were of no significance. But what did Jesus say? He said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of heaven. So we, for us to go into the kingdom, we have to become like a little child. Innocent. They are innocent. And if you do not like children, I mean, it is a serious thing. Very serious if you hate children. I've worked with children half of my life. And I've seen different types of children. And there are persons here. Sister Mac can tell you. She worked with children many, many years. And you have to have patience. And you have to have love for children. You have to have zero. And as Christians, we need to take care of our children much better than we are doing. As I know, there are some persons who are Christians and ill treat their children. Treat them bad. Not true. Speak to me. We are in fasting. Are we talking the truth? Yes. So today, as we pray, my brothers and sisters, let us pray against the abuse of children. Some people batter the children. And when they become adults, they carry hate and disgust for others, and they behave violently. We are not saying we shouldn't rebuke our children. We should, but we should do it in love, my brothers and sisters. My parents did it in love for the betterment, and that's why some of us are here today and in church, because how we were treated. So as we pray, we are going to pray together. Not only me standing here, we are going to pray together against abuse of children. Can we sing that song again, Sister Charmaine? Thus loves this. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, the child tells me so. Little ones to him belong. Let us all look to the Lord in prayer. As we pray, as I pray, you also pray along with me. Father, we thank you. You are King of kings and you are Lord of lords. You rule this vast universe. And today, Lord, from Three Water Lane, I come, Lord Jesus, bring against the abuse of children, Lord. Lord, you created these children, Lord Jesus. You, Lord, are the creator of children, Lord. Lord, there are many, many parents, Lord God, in our society are abusing our children, Lord, both verbally and sexually, Lord. The Lord, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ against this abuse, Lord God. Lord, we ask God that you will remember these parents, Lord Jesus, and persons in our society that are abusing children. Lord God, they are precious in our sight. So, Lord, we just come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, all over this island, Lord, and even those who are watching online, Lord Jesus, in various countries, Lord, you know their culture. And some of them, Lord Jesus, treat children very bad. So, God, we present them before you, Lord God. We present them, Lord God, that you will be the protector, Lord Jesus. You will cover them, Lord God. Some of them are orphans, Lord. No parents, no father, Lord Jesus. God, we present them before you, Lord. In our Jamaican society, Lord Jesus, we know sometimes the mothers, Lord Jesus, are, are tired, Lord God, and frustrated. And they take out their behavior, Lord God, their, their emotions and the children. We come against it in the name of Jesus that you'll calm these parents, Lord, and they look to you, Lord Jesus. Because you say, suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And so, Lord, we know children are very important to you, Lord. 
They are the ones, Lord God, who will take over the society. And the seed that is sown into them, Lord, will germinate into adulthood. So this morning we commit them in your hands, Lord. We commit them, Lord Jesus, Lord, take over the lives of our children, Lord, our abused children, Lord. And Lord God, they will seek you. Someone will lead them to you, Lord Jesus, because we know you have transforming power, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you this morning. We glorify your name, Lord God, for what you're going to do now through Jesus Christ, our Lord, as we all say. Our next protection of children in facilities, schools. You know, as I do, my brothers and sisters, a lot is on the news now. A lot of things happening in our schools. One that came to me is at a particular school, I don't remember, but a tank was there to give water to the children. And they removed the tank from the school, my brothers and sisters. I said, mighty God, these people are wicked. They don't love children. Yes, take away the tank from the school that supply the school with water. They go into our schools and they take out furniture. They take out computers. They rob, ravage from infant department to high school to colleges. This is what is happening in our society, my brothers and sisters. This is not love at all. This is total hate for our children. We want to pray against that. Pray against them. They're abused. You know, in the news in St. Elizabeth where a group of children were abused in Cheshire Beach. If you are following the news, my brothers and sisters, we need to pray for these facilities, the orphanages, the children's home where children are left. And some of them are abused daily. Physical abuse and sexual abuse. Today we pray come against it in our society. They are human beings and they should be treated properly. So to, today, let us put this before the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Let us pray for this, this segment now. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we lift our voices to you, Lord. We lift our voices. We come against wickedness. Wickedness and stealing and robbery in our institutions. Our schools, our orphanages, Lord. Our children's home, Lord. Our places of safety, Lord Jesus. We come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. And those, Lord, who rob the institution, God, that, Lord, you will deal with them, Lord. We leave them into your hands, Lord Jesus. Lord, we come against those who should be protecting our children in the orphanages and, Lord Jesus, place of safety, that, Lord, they will do so with mercy, Lord. Because many of these children do not have any parents. They are disturbed children, and they need tender care. So, Lord, we ask that they look to you, Lord Jesus, for this care. Lord, you're instilling these persons, Lord, godly fear, Lord Jesus, and love. Because without love, it is impossible to please you. So, Lord, we just ask, God, that you visit this institution now, Lord. Our various schools, from infant school, basic school, high school, colleges, Lord, that, Lord, you will protect this institution because it's our institution that educate our children. So God, we ask God that you build a fence around this institution, Lord. And those who steal, Lord God, I put them before you, Lord, that you know what to do with them, Lord Jesus. Either you save them, Lord, or you do your next best. So God, we just ask a coverage right now, Lord Jesus, of our schools, Lord, our teachers, Lord Jesus, in the facilities, Lord. When they rob the school, Lord Jesus, there's nothing, Lord God, the school cannot function properly. So we ask for coverage now, Lord God, and we come against this, this institution, Lord, that are now in serious problem. God, we give you the glory, Lord. We give you the praise, Lord, for what you're going to do now through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We also pray for, for protection against cybercrime. Lord, we give you thanks. We thank you, Lord, for technology. Well, God, you see that Many of our children, Lord Jesus, are being robbed of their future. Many, Lord God, to, the, to internet service, Lord Jesus, and Lord, to the computer, Lord God, they are being robbed. We come against, we come against persons who, who are abusing children to cybercrime, Lord. Lord, we ask God that you are the God of the universe, Lord. You rule the universe, Lord Jesus. 
So we ask that you dispatch your angels, Lord Jesus. Dispatch your angels, Lord, and cover, Lord Jesus, the airwaves, Lord Jesus. Because we know that the devil, Lord, he rules the airwave, Lord. When he was thrown out of heaven, Lord Jesus, he carried his angels with him. And they go to and fro the earth, Lord Jesus. And there are many persons, Lord Jesus, who are sold out to him, Lord. And this morning, we are a group of people, Lord Jesus, who believe in you, who have faith in you, Lord Jesus. And we, we, so we give you thanks. We give you praise, Lord Jesus, as we cover, we cover these three areas, Lord Jesus. Our children, Lord, our institution, Lord, against cybercrime, Lord God. Lord, hear my cry this morning. And attend unto my prayer, Lord Jesus. From three water lane we cry, Lord Jesus. From the ends of the earth, Lord God. Lord, we ask for coverage. We ask for protection, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Can we praise the Lord? Can we lift up his name this morning? He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down Hallelujah. of the same. His name is worthy to be praised. My brothers and sisters, let us continue to pray against these, these, these items that we just looked on, Lord. And remember our children, Lord. Let us display love to our children. God, we give you thanks now through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brother Burl. We must realize that fasting is not without prayer. That's one of our main focus in fasting. So, if we don't love prayer, we have to ask the Lord to give us the appetite for prayer. Because prayer should be one of the main focus of our fasting. Am I right? Yeah, man. Bless the Lord. You know, and in addition to what... Um, to Brother Hilton's prayer. Just this morning, a mother called me online, an online convert, and she has this daughter who was going to another school, but somehow something happened at the school, and she was expelled, expelled, and a suspension. She was expelled, so she was at home for maybe about maybe six months at home. And uh, um, with much help from the ministry, she was finally placed in a school yesterday. And after she went this morning, the mom called me and she was so distressed because this the little young Pitney, <laughs> you have to say that, 13 plus 14 or so, not getting up this morning, she not go to school because she, she feels stressed out and she feels like when she goes to school, something they pull her here and there. So up to when I left, I had to, was just encouraging her and tell her to go into the room and take authority over your child and your house, you know, and go in and pray the psalm and, you know, rebuke the devil because you can imagine after being out of school for over five months went to school yesterday and this morning the child just get up and say no no go to school the young girl says she not go to school can you imagine the stress that that mother is feeling at this time right and then because i had to come to fasting so i don't get to find out yet what was the outcome so remember her this mother she's an online viewer Right, so parents are having it stressful with the children. You understand, and the children are going through because I was saying, if you are at home and you're on leave for five months, and especially if you don't love the work, and you, when if you go back the next day, it's like you don't even want to go back to work. So you can imagine after that child being there for over six months or more, the mind mindset not set for school right now, you know. So you, we, we, we have to really send up some prayer for break off that bondage of the mind of that child. You know, so in our prayers, uh, you know, I just want us to remember this child in our prayers. God bless you. And in addition to the welcome, I did um, overlook our retired minister, Pastor Malcolm. Of course, we can't forget you, my, my, my pastor. So... 
forgive me. And also, old veteran, when I went down and greet Sister Eileen McIntosh, yes, we are happy to have her in our midst and we give God thanks. Did anybody else come in after the welcome? Anybody else? Can I see those who came in after the welcome? Are the youngs here? All right. Anybody else who came in after the welcome? I'm seeing that hand over there. All right. Bless you. God bless you. Thanks for coming. All right. At this time, the praise and worship is coming to make it a little live here for the next five minutes or so. So put your hands together for the praise and worship as they take us Hallelujah. into heavenly places. As you minister with them together, we minister the praises of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We sing songs of freedom. We dance for joy. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We sing songs of freedom. We dance for joy. He has taken my heaviness away. Oh, he has taken my heaviness away. He has taken my heaviness away. So far away. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We sing songs of freedom. We dance for joy.
worthy to receive all the glory. Hallelujah, he's worthy to receive all the honor. Hallelujah, he's worthy to receive all the praise. Hallelujah, because he has done great things. Hallelujah, he has done marvelous things. For us, whereof we are glad. Hallelujah, we will not reserve the praise this morning, Lord. But we will send up the praises in your sanctuary this morning. In the very throne room, God. Praise is a language that you understand this morning. Hallelujah. 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 We worship you, we worship you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. We worship you. Holy Ghost. We welcome you. Hallelujah. We welcome you. We magnify your name. You are awesome. Hallelujah. You are mighty. Hallelujah! 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 Glory, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Praise Him! Praise Him! Praise Him! Praise Him! Jesus, blessed Savior, is worthy to be praised. Oh, praise Him. Praise Him. Oh, praise Him. Praise Him. Jesus, blessed Savior.
Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, name above every other name. Time, hallelujah. hallelujah. If you will just send up the praises hallelujah. in the sanctuary this morning, hallelujah. I don't know what you are waiting on, I don't know who you are waiting on, but I want to let you know that Jesus is in the house, hallelujah. His presence is with us, hallelujah. If you need a miracle this morning, the water is troubled. Right in this morning with a praise. Step right in this morning with a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Can we be silent for a few seconds in the presence of the Lord? Can we just be silent for a few seconds as we stand before the presence of an awesome God? Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit. Yeah, Lord. We welcome you in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, God. Oh, praise is what we have to give you this morning, God. Praise is what we have to give you this morning, God. Oh, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Ah, oh, my soul hallelujah. shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord. With me and let us exalt His name together. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, 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 Lord,
Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. My brothers and sisters, worthy is the Lamb. The Lamb that was slain from the foundation of the earth for our sins. Hallelujah. His blood was shed to cleanse us. His body was broken for our healing. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. And we say, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy, 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 worthy. Hallelujah. Your Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Worthy, 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 hallelujah. Worthy, you are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah, you are worthy. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, when the presence of the Lord is in the place, hallelujah. I keep on saying, when the presence of the Lord is in the place, whatever you need, whatever you need, you can receive it. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, you can receive it. Hallelujah. Whatever you need in this place, in the house of the Lord, you can receive it now. Hallelujah. You can receive your deliverance now. Hallelujah. You can receive your victory now. Hallelujah. You can receive your healing now. Hallelujah. For worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Hallelujah. 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 Worthy, 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 worthy. If that's all we can do this morning is to say worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Is to say worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. We will declare that he is worthy. Hallelujah. To receive the honor. Hallelujah. He's worthy to receive the praise. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. Hallelujah. Because of time. Because of time. But time belongs to God, you know. Time belongs to God. Yes, may have the program, but time belongs to God. And when God comes into his sanctuary, I will have to honor him above anything else. Hallelujah. So we declare him Lord of this fasting. We declare him Lord of this fasting today. Hallelujah. We declare him Lord. Nobody else is Lord in this place. Nobody else. We lift up nobody else but you over God. We focus on nobody else but she over God. Yes, that's who we are focusing on this morning. That's the one who can help you. I don't know who you're waiting on to help you. But the one that I know who can help you is here right now. The one who can deliver you and your problems and your requests that you have in the basket waiting. And the one who can bless the olive oil. And bless all the tokens that you have on the table is present in the house among us right now. Hallelujah! 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 Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Bless your name, Father. This time we'll be doing maybe about three testimonies, overcoming testimonies. 
not a history, not a story. So if God has done something good for you that you think is worthy to declare right now about three persons, you can just come right here as you declare the goodness of God and give him thanks for what he has done. You are going to let the world know that the lamb is worthy because he has done great things for you. Quickly moving, quickly. If not, we'll move on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Jehovah is your name. That's one. If two more are coming, just come on fast. Jehovah is Hallelujah. your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah. Hallelujah. Victory testimony, please. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. Okay, the past month I was in the hospital unconscious. So I in the hospital in the past in last month and and response. So the Lord take me through a coma in the past months. So I thank God that I'm here. I can share my testimony you, to you guys. So my right hand cannot move and I have a swelling foot. So I thank God that he bring me through with that unresponse for that three days. So thank to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Hallelujah. I, my testimony is I was so sick and so many things happened to me that sometimes I try to think about it and I try to forget it and it come back to me. But God is so good to me. I went to the doctor and they sent me to do some tests. And when I do the tests and come back, the only problem I have, it was the, my cholesterol was high. They sent me to, do, to the lab to do so many tests. And I was so worried, but God is so good because one of these, one, one day I went out by the embassy to pick up my visa and when i went about going out there i almost meet in an accident i have to ball out in the vehicle say lord jesus have mercy upon us and everybody in there was crying because this vehicle just come around and almost land in it so i am telling you today that we must give to god thanks give him praise and honor him Glorify his name because God is a good God and a wonderful God because he protects you from all danger and all, all kind of manner of evil of things. So my sister and brother, don't give up on the creator. Continue giving praise and glorify his name for he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We bless the Lord. Lord. We bless the Lord. Lord. What shall I render unto what? the Lord? 
for all his benefits towards me. And the psalmist said, I must take up the cup of salvation. And I will call upon the name of the Lord God. You know, when I looked and I see where God is taking me from, it's from a mighty, mighty, mighty long way. I've been through so much tribulation, trials. I've been through the fire. But God, but God, he kept me. He take me out. He bring me through. It's a long journey. It's a long, long journey. But today I can stand here to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for all your many benefits towards me. And these are the things that we have to stand up sometime and tell God, thank you. It's not the big things, but some of the small things when we look at it and see where he's taking us from. We have to give him thanks. And this is my few testimony in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much. The word of God says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and through the word of our testimony. And so when God has done great things for us, it behoves us, especially when we come into the body of Christ, to tell what the Lord has done. The writer said, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. Through it all, I've learned to trust in God. Through it all, I've learned to depend on his word. So until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy, I carry on. Until the day, my eyes, your eyes, behold that city. Until the day, God calls us home. We will continue to trust in the Lord God Almighty because he promised that he will take us through and allow us to be more than a conqueror. Can we bless the Lord? Hallelujah. And for those who are not able to come, I want you to say with me, I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. Everybody, I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. Declare it one more time with more assurance. I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. God bless you. That's our testimony this morning. At this time, I don't know if Sister Nicklin is ready with the YouTube request and victory testimony. If she is, can I just ask her to come at this time? God bless you, Sister Nicklin. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Come on, everybody, join in until she comes. Jehovah.
There is liberty. Hallelujah. 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 It is a sweet hallelujah. A sweet fragrance in the ear. I don't know if you are not experiencing this thing. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Hallelujah. I'm trying to contain myself. I wouldn't mind praising God all day. I wouldn't mind giving Him the glory all day. He is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. glory to the living God. He's an awesome wonder. You don't understand when the presence of the Lord is sweet somewhere. You have to just entertain him. Hallelujah. You have to worship him.
Aleluya. Aleluya. Ah, Jesus. Aleluya. The blessing of the Lord makes us rich. And add no sorrow to it. It's not financial blessing this morning. It's a blessing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That makes the difference. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. I want to say good afternoon to everyone seated in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. The ministers on the platform. And to those watching on YouTube. Good afternoon. You know, my testimony this morning is... I came here coughing, I've been coughing and coughing. I couldn't speak because I was just coughing constantly. Even when I came here and I sit at the back, I kept on coughing. I just kept on coughing. But when I hear the worship, I start to worship God. I start to worship him. I start to worship him. I couldn't be talking like this, Noah. I would be coughing, coughing. But God is a healer. He is a healer this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I said to Sister Allison, I said, Sister Allison, prepare to continue reading if I stop. Because I know. But I said, God, I'm not keeping a secret for Satan. I worship the healing God. Jehovah Rapha. He is a healer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now on to our victory report this morning. Marsha Campbell requested prayer for glaucoma. And she is now reporting victory. As her doctors have taken her off the eye drops that she has been using for years. Hallelujah. We worship God when we hear a victory testimony. Glory to God. So somebody who is experiencing glaucoma. There is hope in King Jesus. Marcia McKenzie requested prayer for her daughter to get a specific job. But God wanted it his way. So he gave her a better job. And now she's happy and rejoicing. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name this morning. Brother Clarence Wilson and Brother Saunders are hospitalized. They're requesting our prayers this morning. On to the prayer request for today. Glory to his name. Lisa Loudon, healing. Vinette Ayla, blood coverage. Raphael Rose, a total healing after surgery. Michaela McBean, a blood coverage and restoration after surgery. Sharon Smart and family in Jamaica and in the USA. Paulette Dawson and children in Jamaica and in the USA. Kashina Dryden and family. Breakthrough and blood coverage in Brooklyn, New York. Tina doing surgery, requesting the prayer also for her daughter, Alyssa, for her strength. Tina, Roxanne Bailey and family, Clover Rose and entire family, blood coverage and financial breakthrough in Canada and in Jamaica. Brother Robinson, healing and breakthrough. Vilma Duke and family. Hallelujah. Vilma Duke and family, blood coverage. Kimberly Cunningham and sons. Norshadine Anderson, comprehensive healing. Philippa Mitchell and family, breakthrough in Linstead. Sharon Reed, hospitalized, requesting healing prayers in Sava. Denise Foster Thorpe, healing in White House. Natalie and family, loss of mom. Kamika and family, loss of grandmother. Carlene Brody and family, divine intervention in the USA. Celine Knight, Desiree and granddaughter, healing, salvation and blood coverage. Mr. Parkinson, healing. Hepsi Thompson, restoring healing. Zaria Parker. Zari Parker, and that is Sister Myrna's little baby. That little baby we always see on that side. He's not doing well, so they're requesting prayers today. Jamie Lee Cahoon, blood coverage and salvation in Cuba. Faith Spence, healing. Zaria Wright and Angie, breakthrough. Carmen Pringle, healing. Sister Hales, healing in the USA. Marcia Davis and family, loss of loved one in Mandeville. Janet and Alicia, Marshall family, divine coverage in New York. Mary Brown and Euphema, blood coverage and healing. Anita McKinnis, comprehensive healing. Jackie Shaw and family in Canada. Paulette Wilson and family, divine intervention in Jamaica and USA. Yannick Gordon and Ariana. Ellen McNuff and TJ. Blossom Healer, healing, and she's requesting prayer for her mother and family. Shara K. Allen's daughter, the Taylor family. Savannah, blood coverage on the job. 
Kimon Riley, financial breakthrough. Shayla, not doing well. Maureen O'Neill, not doing well, requesting prayer of healing. I'm a Jean Heron, favor with place to live in and healing. And she's requesting prayers from New York. Javian Thompson, emergency prayer for favor. Sonia Hawthorne, healing. Tanya, God's favor. She's doing a surgery soon and she's requesting our prayers. Marie Franklin in Grenada, requesting prayers for her children in the UK. Marine Sinclair's two grandchildren battling autism. They're requesting our prayers of healing. Law Reed's wife, healing and favor. Novelet Henry and grandson, not doing well. Anne Marie Gillespie, not doing well. Donna Edwards, children and grandchildren, deliverance. Smith and Ibanks family. Katie Donalds, financial breakthrough. Denver Smith, divine favor with court case in New York. Odane Edwards, Jeffrey Smith, healing. Paulette Powell, divine protection. Jordan Thompson, Paulette Reeves' father, battling Alzheimer's. And she's also requesting prayer for her strength. Claudia Williams' brother, deliverance. Christine Clark, elevated blood pressure, requesting her prayer. Karen Blake, comprehensive blood coverage. Paula and family, healing. Azzy Walker is in a coma and the family is requesting healing prayers. Marcia and family, salvation, financial breakthrough and deliverance. Donovan and Denisha Morrison, Balthazar and Clifford Campbell, deliverance and a breakthrough from generational curses. Maureen Campbell, Siobhan Price Johnson, restoration after surgery. Theodore and Dawn Spence, blood coverage and healing. Sister Manderson, healing. Kemar, battling mental illness. Orlando, salvation. Dacia Johnson and family. Lashania Spence and family. Unique Reed and family. Stephanie Heath and family. Anita Dows, Desiree Laws and family. Shanique Stewart, healing in Canada. Sandra Jackson and family. Nadine Hodge, Nadine Lewis and Misha Cara, breakthrough and deliverance. Camille Otti. Ashley and Kyle, Sonia Williams and husband, divine favor in Antigua, Ava Black's spouse, deliverance and breakthrough, also requesting prayer for her granddaughter who wants a job. Lasania Nelson and family, Barbara Clark, favor with an apartment, Alicia Malcolm, hospitalized to do a brain surgery in Orlando, Florida, Patsy, Pansy Anderson, also from Florida, requesting our prayers. Trevor Blake, battling cancer. Georgia Williams, two children and husband, divine protection. Tasha Campbell, comprehensive healing. Sean in the UK. Melissa, financial breakthrough in Cayman. Jeannie Stewart and family, breakthrough and deliverance. Denique, divine favor. Alistair Minto and family, Healing and deliverance. Beverly Lawson and family. Annabella, divine favor and breakthrough. Andrew Thompson and children, financial breakthrough. Kayla J, not doing well, they're requesting our prayers. Oliver Sutherland, McKay family. Carmen Chambers, battling memory loss. Hortense Black, favor. Jordan Edwards, healing and deliverance. There's a five-year-old little girl that needs prayers. Her mother is requesting prayer of healing. Natalia, late Ford and family. Queda Curtis Johnson, battling lupus. Tristan Hyatt, not doing well in the UK. Evadne White, divine favor. Travis, Alicia, and Felicia Chambers, divine intervention. Dermont, healing and favor. Claudette Miller, diagnosed with cancer, requesting healing. Sharon Thompson, Romaine and Kira Lee. Vivian Neal's daughter, sick and requesting healing prayers. John T. Taylor, total healing and requesting prayer also for two children for salvation. Brian Hill, divine intervention. Yannick Green and family. Stephanie Heron, breakthrough. Sarika and Warren, Shadasha Paddyfoot, blood coverage. Sylvia McDonald's niece, divine intervention. Althea Gibson, Bethune Mullins, Ermeline Dennis, complete healing. Shirley Dalton, healing. Dasa Son, favor. Marjorie Green and family. Tanisha Lawrence, Angela Taylor's family, salvation. Marcia Burnett's three children. And four grandchildren breakthrough. Jordan battling epilepsy for over 10 years. Carrie and family, healing and breakthrough and salvation. Charmin Jones, children and nephew. Jolene McKenzie and Pendis Caribbean Catering. In UK, they're requesting our hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Good to see your sister Veronica Ellis. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jolene McKenzie. Thank you. 
Una Ingram, healing. Merlin Williamson, son, favor with court case in Miami. Nicole Williams and family, battling spiritual warfare. Annette Young in St. Thomas, healing and deliverance. Clara, healing, Romaine Forbes, Diane Carr and family. Anneli Chambers, hospitalizing Lucy. Lena Gabidon, healing for her eye. Roshane Gooden, breakthrough on the buying of a house. Paulette, requesting prayer for breakthrough. Safia Hewitt, Patterson, requesting prayer for favor with a court case. Sister Donna Locke, she's not doing well, requesting our prayers. Jody, pregnant and hospitalized. Melissa has cancer in her pancreas, requesting prayer of healing. Jonathan, battling smoking. Angela is pregnant and requesting prayers for safe delivery. Mervelyn in New York and sibling, requesting prayers for their green cards to be released. Matthew and Arlene Long, Healing, Alicia and Sasha, Jean Stewart, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas in Canada, Ione Whitaker, Geraldine Martin, Patricia, Anne and Monique, Tanisha Bella, Jamoy Linton, Ruby, son and daughter, requesting prayer of favor for the immigration process, Nathan, requesting intervention for his son, Amanda Anderson, healing from cancer, Roshane and Kayla, requesting prayer for their mom in the USA, Hanson family, Manchester breakthrough, Burke and Johnson family, blood coverage, Foster family, requesting prayer of strength, Sister Scott is not doing well and requesting prayer of healing, and Jodale Webster, deliverance, Shirnette McLennan, Requesting prayer this morning. Misha Gardner and Janika Gardner, deliverance. Miss Campbell's son, Jerry Clark, did a surgeon requesting prayer for healing. Sister Barbara Williams, deliverance. Orit and family breakthrough. Marsha and Everton, Evans, deliverance. Ashley Williams, Muriel Williams, requesting our prayers. Joshua Jordan, Jonathan Beatrice Williams, breakthrough. Messiah Robinson, breakthrough. Richard's family blood coverage and breakthrough. Elaine Nelson, healing from burnout and loss. Hornsby family, total healing. Mr. Terrence Fridgenet, breakthrough. The Welch's family, breakthrough. Hilary Hines and family deliverance. The Walker family in Canada, breakthrough. Sharon Goscott and family blood coverage. Blossom Roach and family blood coverage. Jermaine requesting prayer. Battling mental illness. Whitney Gordon financial breakthrough. Sharon, Dania, Marley, Sonia, Betty, Orlando Smith, Mandela, Shay Smith, Michelle and family. Miss Lindsay and daughter deliverance. Martin Carr and the family. Sister Daphne in New York requesting prayer for favor. Shara Bird and son Nathaniel Garfield Reed. Shania, Kemara, Treshawn Windross, Narissa Buddha. Requesting favor for U.S. citizenship and healing. And Paulette's daughter requesting favor for her visa. And Reverend Goscott Goodlett. My pardon? My pardon, sir. Reverend Goodlett. <laughs> right time. I'm finished. Bless the Lord. He is awesome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Reverend Goodlett. Is going to pray and lift up these requests before the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, right here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody bless God. Come on, somebody just lift up your hands and just bless God. Come on, somebody just give him a praise. If you know that God has been faithful, somebody shout Jesus. Come on, all over this room, shout Jesus. If you know that you're in for a treat to receive a miracle, shout Jesus. Come on, somebody lift up your voices and shout Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We honor you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. You are big in our midst today, Father. We magnify you, Lord God of Israel. Your word says, mighty God, in Psalms 121, verse 4, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Father, I pray, mighty God, Lord, that you are the fire that go before us, mighty God. You are the pillar of cloud that go 
before us, mighty God. Lord, we shake down the plans of the enemy now. Lord, against these lists, the names that was read earlier, Father, we come against the plans of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Diabolical assignment. We destroy you by fire now in the name of Jesus Christ. We break strongholds now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we release your word of healing right now in the name of Jesus. Healing to your people, deliverance to your people, breakthrough to your people right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel death from over their lives. Spirit of untimely death, I bind you now in chains and fetters of iron that cannot be broken. I release life over God's people. Life, the Zoe life of God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus, Father, those who are on the hospital bed, Lord God, this is the day for their discharge. I pray a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Father, open heaven. Release upon them right now in the name of Jesus. The lame shall walk, the blind shall see. Lord, the dumb will talk. Father God, they shall rise, they shall take up their mats, and they shall walk. I declare healing, I declare deliverance. Now, deliverance. Now, deliverance. Now, deliverance. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, some of these ailments are not by natural causes. So Father, we come against spirits of witchcraft that is sent an assignment to destroy the lives of your people, mighty God. We tear down witchcraft now in the name of Jesus. Every altar that is speaking against your people, we trample, we destroy every other altar by fire now in the name of Jesus. Whatever Baal is speaking against your people, we destroy that altar by fire now. Lord, send fire now. Lord, upon every Baal altar, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, your people shall live. Your people shall live. Generational curse. We go back all the way back to Adam and Eve. Lord, we break curses from mother's side and from father's side. We declare deliverance in the lineage, deliverance in the bloodline right now in the name of Jesus. Freedom to your people. Come on fasting. Somebody declare freedom. 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 Yes, Lord. Sata Reboko Sete Rabau Shiandaraba Sata. I declare your spirit of liberty over your people now in the name of Jesus. Spiritual padlocks open now in the name of Jesus. Every quadrant of the enemy fly loose now in the name of Jesus. Every embargo of the devil will lose your hold over the lives of the people now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, no more to high blood pressure, no more to diabetes, no to cancer, divine healing from the root, dry up, 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 eye problem, dry up, lupus, dry up, kidney problem, dry up, abdominal problem, dry up, mental problem, dry up. Father, in agreement with the fasting, we place a stop order in the realm of the spirit, in the demonic realm. Lord, 
every dart that is fire against your people we lift the shield of faith to quench all fiery darts of the wicked one father we pray complete deliverance your word says mighty God in Psalms 34 19 many are the afflictions of the righteous but you deliver them oh God Almighty somebody give God praise deliverance Father deliverance to this list Lord deliverance to this list let it be final let it be final today is the last day this moment is the last moment in this condition healing right now somebody just stretch a, a feel a shift just stretch a feet with me right now let us believe God for these persons Lord God Almighty Father healing right now this is what you died for yes you were bruised the chastisement of our peace was upon you father by your stripes we are healed we are giving you your word mighty God if it can't done here it can't done no else oh God Almighty father healing healing mighty God healing in the name of Jesus healing there's a different anointing here today whatever area in your body is you are feeling the pain there's a virtue there's a power there's a wind that God is about to just release come on by faith by faith the Bible said no faith no faith come on believe now with me Lord God do it right now healing 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 right now right now in fasting father heal him father heal your people Father, heal the people, Lord. Lord, we choose to believe your report. Lord, we choose to believe your report. Father, we respect the doctors. We respect their opinions, mighty God. But Lord, you are the greatest surgeon. You performed the first surgery here on earth. You put Adam to sleep and took that prime rib. Lord, do it again in Montego Bay. Do it right now. Do it for this list right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, do it right now. Heal your people right now, Lord. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Come on, somebody shout it. Complete healing. Complete healing. Come on, say let the devil get my complete, complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Complete healing. Hallelujah. Complete healing, Lord. God bless you, Montego Bay. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, man of God. We declare complete healing in the name of Jesus. Come on, everybody say that. Complete healing in the name of Jesus. In One more time, complete healing complete in the name healing. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We believe, we declare it, and we receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you very much, Reverend Goodlet. We acknowledge your presence, and we give thanks to God for you always contributing to our Wednesday fasting. I want to acknowledge also the presence of our guest speaker, let me get the name right, Reverend Howard Nelson, and he's the minister from or of the um, Lilliput New Testament Church of God. Put your hands together, a man that needs no introduction. Of course, he has blessed our hearts here many a times, and so we are expecting greater things from the hands of the Lord through him this morning. Or this afternoon, praise God. And of course, you know, I am so thrilled as I see um, the person being rolling. I didn't even realize that it was uh, Sister Ellis. My heart is uh, just rejoicing. Put your hands together for Sister Ellis. 
This woman has been coming a far away. When we had fasting with only seven, eight, and ten persons. Hallelujah. This was the one of the women who sacrificed her time and prayer. Hallelujah. In prayer and fasting. You know, and it's a preacher's time now. And the priest is going to sing a song. And um, the preacher is going to come. But as she comes in, this song just dropped in my spirit. I'm not going to sing it because we don't have the time. But we're going to read the first verse and the chorus, you know. You know, devil, no one ring. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the firing line. Hallelujah. If you win, my brother, sister, surely you must fight. Keep on the firing line. There are many dangers that we all must face. If you die of fighting, it is no disgrace. Coward in the service. Hallelujah. He will find no place. Keep on. Keep on, Sister Veronica. Keep on the firing line. You must fight. Hallelujah. Be brave against all evil. Never run. Never lag behind. Hallelujah. If you would win for God and the right, keep on. Keep on. Keep on the firing line. God bless you. God bless you. We know we have been sending up the prize and we rejoice with her. Hallelujah. And of course, I think we have our, our daughter. I'm, I'm, one of her all right, but um, in the same breath, while Sister Ellis is um, recuperating, we know that she has a granddaughter that has also died. And so we need, you know, it's not easy right now, right, to be contented with all that. And so we say, keep on the firing line. Yes, you're a winner. You're a conqueror in the name of Jesus. So we continue to pray for the Ellis's, Deacon Ellis, you know. You would always see him here, but you know he has to attend to his wife, duty call. So when you don't see him, when you don't see Sister Ellis, you know, say you must keep on the fine line praying for them. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. At this time, without any further ado, we will be having a special selection which will be done by the praise and worship team. And immediately after that, I'm going to ask you to stand and give our... RTS uh, um, acknowledgement and honor to the man of God, the man for the hour, the man with the word, Reverend to our Nelson, who will be coming on immediately after the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, sing it with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Amen, you know, amen, I'm going in jet speed. All right, so immediately after the praise and worship doing their special item, we will put our hands together and welcome our angel of the house, no other person than Reverend Teruel Robinson, who will take it from there. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Shall we bless the name of the Lord? Shall we exalt the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. If you have a praise, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord the highest praise in the sanctuary. Come on, if you have something to praise him for, shout hallelujah. Come on, God has been a good God. Shout hallelujah. He has been a wonderful God. Shout hallelujah. He's our healer, our deliverer, our shield and defense. Shout hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. The songwriter said, oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. Praise unto the king. And oh, for a thousand hands to raise. Oh, God, I wish I have a thousand tongues this morning. And a thousand hands to raise. Come on, shall we bless the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's a holy and beautiful city whose builder and ruler is God. John saw it descending. 
Join with me, shout a hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. Shout a hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Why don't you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Don't just tear at somebody. Just, just join the praise. Just join the praise. Just join the praise. When the praises go up, then the blessing will come down. You may be seated. It is the preacher's time. It is the preacher's time. Hallelujah. I greet everyone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's good to be here. Good to be in your company. Hallelujah. Obviously, the power of God is in the house. We glorify his name. Hallelujah. Don't go too far. I rise today to greet everyone. There are 2,600 gadgets that is hooked up to us. The number... Viewing us exceed that, but we give God thanks. Put your hands together. For those in Radio Land, thousands across the West and this country listening, tuning into this fasting service. Amen. This is not a man made thing, but a God, a God made thing. Hallelujah. We give Him all the glory, the honor, and the praise. I'm indeed happy for the visitors in the house today. Glory to God. Continue worshiping. I'll talk to you later. 
But we have Sister Ellis who is in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I don't want to keep her long, but I just want to pray for her. Amen. So they can slip away anytime they want to. So I'm asking, she's not only sick in body, but she lost a granddaughter under a very sad occasion. Very, very sad and questionable occasion. But we need to pray one for another. I also want to pray for Sister Stevens. Amen. I don't know if she's in the house. Is there anyone related to her? Anybody related to Sister Stevens? She lost her husband tragically. Amen. And uh, permit me to stretch your imagination. He was reduced to ashes under, under questionable circumstance or circumstances. We want God to do his thing. We want God to strengthen his daughter and the entire Simpsons family. Amen. Could Brother Ellis just and the Ellis's family just to come and stand? I just want to take two minutes to pray for you. Hallelujah. Sister Bennett, come and stand for Sister Simpson. Stevens, Stevens, thank you. The entire, the entire Ellis's family, come, come and stand. I won't be long. It is not the length of prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's all I need. He's all I need. Jesus is all I need. said we must lift them up and we must pray everywhere hallelujah 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 father i come in the exalted name of jesus that name that give us hope and assurance that name that break the bond of wickedness that name that gives justice to those God or abuse. That name healing. Oh God is provided. 
Hallelujah. Jesus. Can the church out Jesus? Could you call that name again? Could you call that name again? Glory to God. Father, your daughter is seated in a, in a, in a wheelchair. You know her. Her connection with you. Lord, you know the pain, the discomfort, uh, Lord, that she's experiencing. Uh, God Almighty, not only sickness in body, but God, she is suffering uh, emotionally, having lost uh, a granddaughter on the questionable uh, God circumstance. Uh, oh God, our circumstances, you know God. But this moment, I look to you the fasting call on you we are saying Jesus come by here come and help your daughter to go through a red sea to go to God through a fire and trying time I pray for the Ellis's family Lord God I pray for strength I pray for coverage I pray for protection I pray for miracle oh God the entire family that morn I pray for comfort in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus father we stand uh, on behalf God uh, of our sister uh, who has lost her husband uh, sister Stevens uh, Lord God Lord God Lord God uh, you know everything uh, what the police don't know you know uh, what the, the witnesses don't know you know God uh, because your eyes are uh, Oh God around the sparrow and you watch over everything everybody God 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 I pray not for the dead but I pray for the living I pray God for the Stevens family they are groaning they are sighing they are asking questions Lord God the void of lust has consumed them but God I pray for strength I pray for coverage I pray Lord God for healing in times like these the Stevens family needs you Lord so I look to you I call your name I cry out to you the fasting is crying out to you Help her, oh Lord God. Help her, help her, help her, help her, help Almighty God. This one is bigger than the Stevens family. Help her, help Almighty God, help the police. In their investigation, help the family, help Sister Stevens. Oh God, food, the appetite for food is gone. Lord, the desire for sleep is gone. But we cry out, help, help. Oh, somebody raise a hand, shout help. Help, 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 help. Help, help, come by here. Somebody need you. Come by here. The Stevens said, Stevens need you. Come by here. The Elisa family needs you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Ian McKenzie. Not well, need deliverance. I pray for a touch.
I pray for his mother likewise. Uh, Lord, will you touch the Mackenzie's family? Will you touch Sophia and Stacy Morgan in the name of Jesus? Uh, I stand in the gap for Pauline Harvey, the Greens family, Connecticut, uh, the Greens family, uh, Cayman Island. Uh, I stand in the gap for Gilbert Stewart, uh, our God of Bronx, New York. Uh, will you touch him? touch his wife touch his family I pray for this choir family in the Bronx can you touch every one of them oh God bless and prosper remember Penzina and her family oh God this woman of God I cover her now I cover her family remember sister Gardner from this immediate church I ask you to do something for her. What no other power can do? Somebody raise your hand. Uh, and somebody say, do it again, God. Come on, join with me. Do it again, God. Do it again. Uh, miracle worker. Problem solver. Oh, God. Uh, do it for your daughter. In the name of Jesus uh, Christ of Nazareth. Uh, remember, Lord, uh, the parents and relatives uh, of Shanika God, uh, USA. The acts of prayer. I call heaven's attention. Uh, oh, God. I don't call angel. I don't pray to angels I pray to almighty God I pray to Jesus Christ I ask the Holy Ghost to intervene intervene Lord intervene your servant is about to preach I pray for a double anointing a triple anointing a quadruple anointing in the name of Jesus, let blind eyes pop open. Let cloven tongues be loose. Let the deaf hear. Let a oh God, let the lame walk. Let chance go. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Let the anointing flow. Not only in fasting, but there are two. 2,600 gadgets that are linked to us. Every worship online right now. Oh God in Radio Land. Just minister. 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 In Jesus name. Somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. As you return to your seat, God bless you. Put your hands, stand, remain standing. Put your hands together for the preacher. A man that needs no introduction. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Can somebody magnify the name of the Lord? Hallelujah. Somebody lift up the name of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. And somebody worship the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords with me can somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Somebody magnify God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm. Hey, God. 
God Almighty. Jesus, 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 Jesus. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. Robinson, the shepherd of this house, I give God thanks for him and his family. I greet the leadership here in the Montego Bay New Testament Church of God, leaders of the fasting and each and every member, every visitor, every online worshiper, every person praying, the prayer team, everybody. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is good to be in the house of the Lord another time. To magnify the name of the Lord. For truly God is good. Luke chapter 18. Reading from verse 35 through to verse 43. And it reads thus. And it came to pass. That as he was coming nigh 
unto Jericho. A certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. And he cried saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Hallelujah. And they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy, hallelujah, on me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, what will thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight. Thy faith had saved thee. And immediately he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God. And all the people that saw it gave praise unto God. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, almighty God, this afternoon uh, that we are able to come into your presence. We thank you, Jehovah God, uh, that truly, Lord, you are worthy. You are mighty. You are wonderful. Uh, and there is none who is like unto you. You are God and you are king. Uh, you are Lord and you are Savior. You are El Shaddai. Uh, you are the rock of ages. You are the prince of peace. You are the wheel in the middle of the wheel. Uh, you are our El Shaddai. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our everything. You are our bomb in Gilead. You are our God and our King. And Father, as we come before your throne, even now, we surrender all to you. And we say, God, take the stage and have your way today. Father, we rebuke every plan of the adversary. We tear down every spirit that is not of you. We send back uh, Almighty God from whence it came uh, every lingering force uh, that wants to disrupt uh, or distract uh, or Almighty God take away to prevent uh, or to hinder. We bind up uh, the plans of the enemy now uh, and we declare uh, that there shall be free room uh, for your spirit to reign, uh, for your spirit to move, uh, for your spirit Almighty God to have your way in this Ah, Jesus. So even now, Daddy God, we put everything before you. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, and we declare, God, that your name will be glorified and you will be magnified. You alone will receive the honor and the praise. You alone will receive the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, somebody magnify God with me. Somebody worship God with me. Somebody lift up a shout in this house uh, and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Today I want to speak to you from a topic. Uh, oh God, uh, a Jesus visit. Oh God Almighty, uh, a Jesus visit. Brothers and sisters, uh, as we are here, uh, Almighty, uh, as we are here today in the presence of the Almighty God, uh, I want you to recognize and to understand uh, that there are many of us, uh, oh, while we are sitting down, uh, we are desirous of a visit uh, from the Almighty God. God, because there are some things that are happening in our lives where we recognize and understand that it's only God Almighty is only Jesus can fix it for us. I want you to understand that when Jesus visits, our great and mighty things happen. When Jesus visits, our things are changed. When Jesus visits, we recognize and understand that chains are broken, that lives are made 
knew that people are set free. So I declare in Montego Bay today that we are in for a Jesus visit. That we are here to bask in the presence of the Almighty God because Jesus is passing by. There is a visit from the Almighty God today. A Jesus visit. Is what we need. The Sagman says when Jesus comes, the temple snare is broken. Ah, oh, God Almighty. I don't care who it is. I don't care where they come from. I don't care what spirit they call upon. But when Jesus visit, ah, oh, no matter what is operating, they have to be subdued. Because when Jesus comes, he has a greater authority, a higher power. Therefore, when he steps in, everything else will have to take a box. Seat, ah, God Almighty, when Jesus comes, when Jesus comes, He brings miracles, signs, and wonders. When Jesus comes, He changed the lives of people that are around Him. Ah, God, I want you to understand that over some years ago, I received a Jesus visit because I was lost and undone. Ah, God, I was nothing and nobody, but I got a Jesus visit and it changed my very being. It turned my life around. It fixed me up. Ah, oh, God Almighty, the song man says, He picks me up. He turned me around. He plants my feet on solid ground. Why? Because I got a Jesus visit. Oh, God, one day when I was lost, Jesus died upon a cross. So I know it was the blood that sealed me. If it was not for Jesus, I would not be here today. I am a new creation. I am a brand new man. All things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Everything about me is different. Because I got a Jesus visit. Oh God Almighty. My entire life have been turned around. Because I got a Jesus visit. Oh God I don't know what you come here for today. But I tell you today. It's a Jesus visit time. Oh God some of us. Lord God Almighty. Oh God we come in. Because we only want the miracle. But we don't want the miracle worker. But I tell you today. That a Jesus visit. Is what you need. Jesus is visiting in Montego Bay today. I don't know if you feel the presence of God, but from morning I come, I sense that the Holy Ghost is in this house. Ah, God Almighty, and there is ah, God, when the Holy Ghost comes, he is here to change somebody's life. Ah, God Almighty, ah, God, I don't know about you, but I am ready and anticipating and receiving whatever God has in store for me, because I understand that there is a great blessing that will reach me today oh god almighty so if i'm me alone i'm me alone but somebody needs to realize that there is an anointing oh god mighty god mighty god mighty god a jesus visit Oh, God Almighty, a Jesus visit is what we need. Brothers and sisters, when I look at the passage that we just read, and I look at the story of a man that is well known to us, in Luke, it states that this was a certain man. But in Matthew and Mark, the man has a name, and his name is Bartimius. And the truth is, brothers and sisters, 
Many of us don't just call him Bartimius, but we call him blind Bartimius. Which allows us to understand that this blind man, all he could do was beg. And he was known by his condition. God Almighty. We call him blind Bartimius. No, we don't call him miraculous Bartimius, you know. And we don't call him healed Bartimius, but we call him blind Bartimius. His condition that he had was what he is known by. I want you to understand that this man who is a blind beggar knew and understood that all he was good for was to beg. All he could do was beg. His condition was one that he was an outcast. Oh God Almighty, his condition meant that he was worth nothing. The condition that he had would have prevented him from going into the temple to give prayers like everybody else. He could not offer sacrifice because he had an impediment. He was blind and it said that nothing that is not pure cannot offer a sacrifice in the temple. So he was not accepted. He was seen as nothing and no one. Brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but there are times in my Christian life where I felt like an outcast. There are times when I feel like, uh, there, that, like I was nothing and I can do nothing to change that. But I want somebody to understand um, that there are times when no matter what you try, uh, you can't change your condition. Ah, uh, God, no care what you try to do. The condition is what it is. Ah, uh, God, you go to doctors and they can't help you. You do all what you can and they can't help you. But I want somebody to understand me today that there is a man named Jesus oh God, and he is visiting this house today and I want you to recognize that even though you can't change your condition when he steps in he has all power and might to change your very condition to change your very name to turn you around to fix you up I want you to understand that this man who is Christ Jesus, he has the power to change it. No matter what you have done, no matter your condition, there is a God, there is a Savior, there is a Lord, and he's saying unto you, come unto me, all he that are laden and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, cast your cares upon me because I care for you. He is a God who understands. Oh God, don't feel like you're alone. He says that I am touched with the very feelings of your infirmity. So the pain that you got through, he knows it. Oh God, the trials you're going through, he knows it. He understands. Every little bit of heartache and pain. This is who he is. A Jesus visit, brothers and sisters, is what many of us need. Oh, God Almighty, a Jesus visit is what we desire. Oh, God, there are some of us who we have some conditions here today. Oh, God, and while we sit down here, our minds might not even be here because it is focused on what we are going through. Some of us leave some things a yard. Oh, God Almighty, and we say, God, me can't go back home to it because it no Lord God. It no look nice. Ah, some of us, the condition that we have, our families being torn apart. Ah, God, our bodies are being torn apart. Our minds feel like it lost. But in the name of Jesus, I declare a Jesus visit in your life today that he will walk into your house. He will walk into your yard. He will walk into your life. He will walk into your body. And he will turn things around. A Jesus visit 
is what you need. A Jesus visitor is here for you today. A Jesus visit. Manda satiala bakushia. Ma satana na 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 kushukundu duvu sata. Liba ku satana na na shekendi nivisa. Rebo satiama kushukundu na. Likunda satiama kasheke. Jesus. Somebody show Jesus. Jesus. Ah, somebody show Jesus. Lord God. Show Jesus somebody. Oh, 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 oh. Show Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Ma satana nana kushukundurubusa. Jesus. 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 Lord God. Jesus. 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 Woo, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Masata Lavoshkia. Jesus. Ah, son, I don't know who should go. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, she marks at the Alava who should come no more. Sata, Jesus, Jesus, I send Jesus up at a yard. I am seeing a house that's somewhere near, I think about three houses down. Lord God Almighty, ah, there are some flags that have been raised in that house. Makasa in that yard, la do sata, mama kushiki, rebeke satana, nana kushukundu dubu sata, libiki sitia, maka shekende, debe saka, nana nana kusutu, ligi kisatana, mama shekendia, mama shikindia, nana sata, libu kusutu, nana shekende, beke sekata, ah, baba kushukundu dubu sata, liba baba sia, nana nana seke. You feel like you can't stay in your own yard. Cause you feel tormented. But in the name of Jesus, I send fire. Ah, Mako Sata, Lama Sheke, Rebo Satan, Anana Shikia. I send fire up there. I surround your horse in fire. I send angels with flaming sword right now. Marcia, Lebo Satan, Anana Koshia. I bind up. I cut down. I tear down. Hey, Marcia, Lama Shia. I send the fire. Lord God Almighty. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Visit Jesus. Mash it up. Makusata. Nananashia. We tear it down. Liba satia. Nakusata. Rebo shekende. Ah, we mash it up. We send fire, 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 ah fire! Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, ah somebody show Jesus with me now, ah Jesus! Rabababa kushutu laba sekia. Ah, God Almighty! Make a shaka na 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 shia. Liba kusutu ribi saka na 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 shia. But devil a bright. Sanya mama mama shekia. Liba kusata na 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 shekende debe shia. Rebo shikanda mama kusutu la ba shikia. Nakundi mama ba sekende lebe sheke ni akasata mama mama shi. Nusata ma kashikindu la ba shikia. 
na kushukundu dunubushia makushia la basia asio ugly demon hasia ah na 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 shia every 12 o'clock midnight you show up in the dream of God's people Lord God Almighty they can't sleep good as it lick 12 o'clock it's like them have a week but I, I send fire upon you now I gotta bind you up I tear you down I broke you down Sikanda Mama Kushike Liba Kusata Nananashia Jesus Your time up. Ah, Satya, Mama Kushikindia. Ah, Sanda, Mama, Mama, Mama Kushikende. I got a semi angels. Ah, God Almighty. Right now, Daddy God. Take charge, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Abide your devil. I tear you down. Mark a shake in the somebody show Jesus no man. Somebody show Jesus no man. Somebody show Jesus no Jesus. Masata Laba Shikindia. She Laba Satya. Jesus. 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 As I continue on, Marka Satya. Laba Shikia. I want to point out to us that a Jesus visit brings mercy. Ah, Sata, Mama Kushikende, Lord God, I feel your God. A Jesus visit brings mercy. Hear yeah, me, brothers and sisters. Every day, they took Bartimaeus to the roadside to beg. Every day, he went there and asked for money. Because that was his routine. He knew nothing else. That was his identity. That was what he was come to know by. You see, sometimes I saw the devil wicked. Oh God, he gives us a condition. And sometimes we don't know. Nobody don't know we outside of the condition. Oh God, even with self sometimes. Oh God, when we come in a Christ, we start to think that we are nothing more than our condition, oh God Almighty. But I want to say to somebody that on this particular day, it was about to be a different day for Bartimaeus, oh God Almighty, because a Jesus visit was what he was about to get this particular day. The Bible says that Jesus will be passing by the roadside where Bartimaeus was. I want somebody to cry out all in your condition that Jesus is passing by your way today. That today is a different day because Jesus. is passing by. Now the Bible allows us to understand. Oh God Almighty. That there was a large crowd with Jesus. People were walking with him on the roadside. Everybody wanted to touch him. Everybody wanted to be near him. Ah, oh God, and they were walking with him. Now Bartimaeus heard the commotion. And he inquired. What was happening? Because this noise does not sound right. This noise sound unusual. So it must be a royalty passing by. Some king or somebody must be passing. And Bartimaeus was thinking that this was an opportunity to get a big money. Because all him know for the beg. So maybe with the fact that a king or somebody in power is passing, we can get a big money. 
Lord God Almighty, we know when crowd full of people, something must be there. But as he inquired, someone said to him that it is Jesus of Nazareth that is passing by. Oh God Almighty, this news, brothers and sisters, caused Bartimaeus to change. He recognized that there was something that he needed in Jesus. He understood that this was an opportunity to receive something different. So he cried out with a loud voice, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. Oh God Almighty, he cried out for mercy. Now I want us to realize something, please. That in looking at this whole word of mercy, the Greek word that is used for mercy is eliho. And this is the same word that is used for arms. So, what that meant, Bartimaeus knew the word eliho very well. Because every day when somebody was passing, he would stretch out his hand and he would say eliho. Which means beg you something. Which means arms, Lord God Almighty. But in this time, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand something. That it depends on the person who you beg. Because for years... Bartimaeus was being placed on the side of the road. For years he was saying Eliho. And all he would get was coins. Spear change. Little money here and there. But on this day he cried Eliho with a passion. Because he did not want money. Oh God Almighty sometimes brothers and sisters. We need to recognize that our condition can only change if we go to the right source. Ah, oh God, sometimes we come to church and we are beg pastor to pray. Ah, oh God, we beg with one another to pray. I'm not saying nothing wrong, but we have to realize that the source is Jesus. Somebody who is in need need to see the source passing and beg the source for mercy. Bartimaeus recognized that Jesus was passing and he cried out Eliho but this time Jesus was not going to give him money but he was about to change his condition who are we crying out to oh God almighty who are we crying out to for mercy. Some of us, our condition is dire. Oh God Almighty, it dangerous, it wicked. Oh God, but as soon as something happens, we run gone a doctor. Oh God, I have no problem with doctor. But sometimes we need to realize that I need to find this city and I need to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy. Because a Jesus alone can change your condition. A Jesus alone, our oh God Almighty, can fix it up for you. Our oh God, a Jesus visit is what you need. And when Jesus visits, he brings mercy. Somebody need to cry out for mercy. Cry out for mercy. Oh God Almighty, mercy. Mercy. Bartimaeus cried out and said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. I want to give thanks uh, to the almighty God uh, that when we cry out, he hears us. Uh, God, some of us, uh, we are in a position uh, where we are in need of his mercy. We are in a position uh, where we need him to hear or cry. Uh, we are in a position uh, when we need to ball out. Uh, God almighty Jimmy struggle 
Scott wrote a song. He said, mercy rewrote my life. I could have fallen. My soul cast down. But mercy rewrote my life. I got to want to tell somebody this afternoon. I got almighty that there is mercy here. That mercy is here for you. That mercy is here to fix you. That mercy is here to change you. That mercy is here to turn you around. That mercy is here to cast out demons. That mercy is here to change your condition. Mercy! Mercy is here. Mercy is here. Mercy! A Jesus visit brings mercy. Mercy. Some of you are going to walk in our house and we'll show mercy. Because the devil won't take it over. Oh God almost cry out, Mercy God. Walk in, walk in. Some of us are in workplace. Oh God, all if you're there online. And you realize that the enemy has try all sorts of things. Oh God, just shout a word. Just shout mercy. Just shout mercy. Just shout mercy. Just shout mercy. Mercy. Mercy, mercy. Bartimaeus was in need. His condition was very bad. And he cried out for mercy. But brothers and sisters, as I look at the passage, as Bartimaeus cried out, it made mention that there were some around him who said to him, keep quiet. All your peace. The master now no time for you. You're not worthy of his attention. You're not worthy of Jesus stopping for you. All of us are walking, we are sick. Some of we have with big money. And all know we can't get for touch him. Why you won't cry out to him? Keep your mouth shut, man. Lord God Almighty, brothers and sisters, oh God, they wanted him to keep quiet. They were saying, don't bother the master. Don't shout. You are not worthy of his time. Keep quiet. Brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that every time something is about to happen for you, Every time you are at the edge of your breakthrough, every time you are right where Jesus is to receive what he has with him, uh, there is somebody he has come from the pit of hell or hell itself will try to rise up in your life because he won't keep you quiet. Uh, God, he does all that he can to keep you from speaking, to keep you from shouting, to keep you from getting what God has for you because the devil wants to keep you in your worthless situation. He wants to keep you in your undesirous condition. He wants to keep you in a blind Bartimaeus state. But in the name of Jesus, I wish that there was somebody in Waterloo today who said, come here, or high water. I am crying out for my Oh God Almighty The devil can't shut you up He will not shut you down In the name of Jesus Sometimes the sickness here got you And not just because of anything I don't think the devil won't shut you up Sometimes the issue we have are because the devil wants to shut you up. Sometimes everything I go good and you leave out of the house and you go fasting and you go worship God. And just before you left the house, something happened. 
You get a phone call. Somebody do something that damp your spirit, that turn your mind. And when you're walking at the house of God, you're walking with a vexation and an upset spirit. You can't even lift up your hand and worship God. You can't even open your mouth and worship God because the devil recognizes that today would have been the day when you would have got your breakthrough. That today is the day when Jesus is passing by with what you need. That today is the day when Jesus is about to touch down in your very life. So I want somebody get up, stand up on your foot and shake off whatever the devil will hold for you and say today I am getting mercy, 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 mercy. Shake it off and cry out. Jesus. 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 Mercy is here. Mercy is here. Mercy. Mercy there. Mercy there. My condition shall not be the same. You see, I love Bartimaeus, you know. Because the people, them tell him to stop in eyes. But the Bible says that he mustered up all his strength. And he shouted out louder. Jesus! Have mercy! stay silent I will not keep my mouth shut brothers and sisters ball out for mercy ball out for mercy for your husband ball out for mercy for your wife ball out for mercy for your children ball out for mercy for your healing ball out for mercy for your deliverance ball out for mercy for your breakthrough ball out for mercy I will not stay silent I will not keep my mouth shut. You know, shut me up today. No, not today, devil. Mercy. 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 Oh, God Almighty. La ba 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 yeah! Bartimaeus knew that he begged people every day and all them couldn't give him was money but today he heard that Jesus is passing he heard about what he had done before he heard about what he can do Bartimaeus said today today I will not allow Jesus to pass me by. They tried all they want. They did all they could. They wanted to shut him up. But he shouted a little louder. Oh God Almighty. Hey, Marcus and Rabakushia. Shout a little louder, no? Shout a little louder, man. Ah, the crowd lies loud. The crowd are make nice. The crowd are make nice. But you, you have a need. And only Jesus can fix it. Shout a little louder. Shout a little louder. Some of you a long time you pray for your picnic them. Long time you want them saved. But the devil wrap them up and tie them up and tangle them up. Ah, oh God, your house mash up. Ah, oh God Almighty, your body feel like it a pop down. Sometimes your mind feel like it is not here because the enemy has stepped in. Ah, oh God, but in the name of Jesus, I declare today that you shall receive a Jesus visit that will change your very circumstance. Ah, oh God! 
mercy is here for somebody. Mercy is here for somebody. Labo Shianda, Mama Makusia. Mercy is here today. Ma Satana Nana Kushike de Debesia. Labaka Satana Nana Kushukundu Busia. I hear the cry of a mother. Oh God Almighty, I hear it loud in my ears. Your son is in prison. Oh God Almighty. And the court case is coming up. Ah, Mako Satala Bashekedia. And you have been crying out. Ah, Satala Bashike. If you're in this house or online, shout mercy. Shout mercy. Shout Mako Satala Bashike. Mercy! Mercy, 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 mercy is here, mercy is here. So when you cry out for mercy, when Jesus brings mercy, you know, it comes with everything, healing, deliverance, breakthrough, blessing, newness, salvation, mercy! Turn things around. That's what Jesus comes with. Oh God Almighty. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. See, don't look at it. Mercy. A Jesus visit brings mercy. But not only does that Jesus visit bring mercy, a Jesus visit brings sight. A Jesus visit brings sight. Now the shout of Bartimaeus was heard by Jesus. Now I want you to understand that the crowd was thick. Based on studies, there were about at least 400 people that were gathered around Jesus. And all of them were desirous of a touch from him. Now, it's not 400 of us in here, no. Maybe close to it. But if all of us start to shout, it is hard to pick out the particular one who is shouting. But in the midst of the 400, Jesus heard a shout that he needed to respond to. Lord God Almighty. Jesus. I don't know about you, you know. But when I shout, Jesus must know, say, am I? Because he must show up for my circumstance. And the truth is, the good thing about Jesus is that he is omnipresent and omniscient. So even if him attend to my shout, he can attend to yours too. At the same time, Lord God Almighty. So I am not in a waiting line. Because when I... Sh- he hears my shout. There was a desperate cry that Jesus heard and he recognized that something must be done. This man was so important that Jesus stopped. And when he stopped, he made a declaration. Bring him to me, Lord God Almighty. Now, this allows us to understand that Bartimaeus was some way off. He wasn't in the immediate periphery of Jesus. Jesus never seen him. But he heard. Oh God Almighty. He heard the cry. Brothers and sisters, sometimes you have a lock when you closet. And you ball. Oh God Almighty, Jesus is hearing. He is hearing. He stopped and he called him over. Now one of the things that I also recognize is that When I look at the passage, I wonder, when the man was brought to Jesus, Jesus obviously saw that the man was blind. But Jesus said to him, what should I do 
for you. Now remember I said earlier, you know, the same word that is used for arms is the same word for mercy. That is the word that Jesus would have heard. But you see, sometimes Jesus wants to emphasize the faith that we have. He asks the man, what do you want? The man could have said a million dollars. Uh, so some of we are ready for responding. You know? When Jesus asks, we want, we want the big house on the hill. And we want the BMW Benz. And we want the dish. And we want the that. But this man understood that his condition was greater than the little money that he could have get. He said, I want to receive my sight, Lord God. God Almighty, oh God, if it was anybody else, he would have asked for money, but he realized that Jesus could have given him something greater than money. He said, I want to see. You see, brothers and sisters, sometimes we call out to Jesus, you know, but we're not sure what we want. Sometimes we call out and we are not sure what we want. But this man was sure of what he wanted. So he said, I want my sight. Jesus said to him, listen, your feet, he emphasized it. Your feet, oh God Almighty, your feet. Is what has brought you deliverance. This man vocalized and demonstrated his faith. I want to ask you today, where is your faith? Where is your faith today? Somebody need to vocalize and demonstrate your faith. Let the devil know, I will not stay in this state any longer. I will receive my deliverance today. I will not stay in this point any longer. Devil, you have been doing this to me over and over. But in the name of Jesus, I am vocalizing it. And I am making it known that this is what... I need my deliverance from. I need it, Lord. And I need it today. I am exercising my faith. Ah, oh, God Almighty, somebody need to vocalize it in this atmosphere. Somebody need for talk it, make the devil hear. Somebody need for talk it, make demons hear. Ah, oh, God, I will not stay silent, but I will open my mouth and I will shout. Ah, oh, God, if I arthritis, God, I need healing for me arthritis. If I cancer, I root you up from the Root, and I burn you out uh, with the Holy Ghost power and I send you back uh, uh, from whence you came uh, in the name of Jesus uh, vocalize your feet even as I vocalize mine I've always declared that my family members must be saved my brothers and sisters were once Christians. Enough of them turn away. But every day I pray in the name of Jesus. God, the devil can't carry them. Go ahead. Oh God, devil, he must, they must change. Oh God, and I vocalize it. I call them name one by one. And I say in the name of Jesus, devil, take your hands. Oh, for them, you know, vocalize your faith, man. Oh, God Almighty, somebody in this house need to speak it in the atmosphere. Don't be afraid of food around you because everybody has got you the same thing. Oh, God, and some might be different things, but something you need to open up your mouth and say, God, we need you now. Yes, we might in a fasting, and yes, the crowd is here, but this is what I want. This is what I need. As you are passing here today, I will not leave until you bless. Somebody need a Jacob fate. I will not let go 
Oh God, you might have lick out my tie. Oh God, I hop me off you have come in today. I mean, now hop go back out. Lord God Almighty, I fight me fight. If you come through these doors this morning, but me now fight go back out. I walk in up, Lord God Almighty. As Jesus spoke the words and he declared to Bartimaeus, he says, receive thy sight. The sight, the Greek word that the see or sight comes, it means to see or to gain sight. I believe that for us too, this have an understanding for us, two understanding. Bartimaeus was blind and he needed to see. So right there and then, as Jesus spoke, he received his sight. He began to see. He was able to see again. However, I believe that today there are some of us here that is in need of sight. We need to gain spiritual sight. Not physical sight. We have vision, but we don't have sight. We're not blind, but we still can't see. Mm. You see, we need to realize that everything that occurs in the life of a believer has a spiritual connotation to it. There is nothing that happened to you physically without there being a spiritual occurrence first. Brothers and sisters, when Paul was writing, he said, listen, our resting is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness in high and low places. I want you to understand something, brothers and sisters, that every attack that comes to us attacks us in the spirit realm first, and then it manifests itself in the physical. Because once you come into Christ, whilst, whilst you have a physical body, you are now a spiritual being. You are walking after the ways and operating after the ways of God. So I want you to realize that there are some of us, we are fighting our battles the wrong way. Because we have the, we see the operation in the physical, we think it's a physical issue. The neighbor at our mentee. And we believe it's a physical thing. So we start quarrel with the neighbor. Oh God, things are going to work. And we start respond at work. But I want you to recognize and to understand that it is not the neighbor, nor the individual, but it is the spirit that is operating behind. You now need to realize and understand that you need to find me city and start to cry out in the spirit realm. Say, in the name of Jesus, every diabolical spirit that is using X, Y, and Z to try to torment me, to try to bring me down, to try to tear me down. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We need sight to recognize and to realize where we need to go. We need sight. Oh God Almighty, some of us we are living but we have no purpose. We have no direction. We just go on and on and on and on. But in the name of Jesus today, I declare that you will receive sight. That God will open up your eyes. That you will be able to see. And that you will be brought into everything that God has in store for you. I declare that your eyes will be enlightened. So you can see in the spirit realm. And gain an understanding to recognize that as believers, you do not walk by the flesh. Ah, God, but you walk by the Spirit. You do not walk by sight, but you walk by faith. Ah, God Almighty, to recognize that you need to verbalize and vocalize your faith in the Almighty God as you operate in the realm of the spirit I declare today that every scale will be removed from your eyes that you will be able to see clearly the work of the Lord in your life that you will be able to see ah, God almighty every plan that the 
enemy has set up for you that you will be able to see and to combat oh God what the devil is doing I declare in the name of Jesus that your eyes will be open oh God that every person who has been blinded by the devil oh God almighty that you will be able to see even now in the name of Jesus that you'll be able to see what God has in store for you that your eyes will be open that you will walk according to his purpose and to his grace I declare in the name of Jesus that you will receive sight in the name of Jesus hallelujah I declare sight in the name of Jesus that you will see what is happening around you. Oh God, that your quarrel will no longer be with your husband and your children. Oh, that your quarrel will no longer be with those around you. That your quarrel will no longer be in the church and the brethren in the church. But you will see what the devil is trying to do. That you will no longer fight physically, but you will now fight spiritually because you are brought into and you are able to see. Open up your eyes in the name of Jesus. I declare clear that there will be a breaking oh God almighty and that you will be able to see oh God I give you sight in the name of Jesus I declare sight in the name of Jesus I declare sight in the name of Jesus sight 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, Mako Sata, Labaka Sheke, Debe Satya. Sight! In the name of Jesus. Ma Satu Livia. Finally, before I close, brothers and sisters, a Jesus visit brings mercy. A Jesus visit brings sight. But a Jesus visit brings praise. A Jesus visit brings praise. Marka Satya. Now I want some people to start get ready now. Because right after this we're going prayers. Because I don't know about you. But because I know that a Jesus visit is what I've gotten today. Then I want to give prayers. Because I believe I am claiming my deliverance. I believe that I will be getting my breakthrough. I believe that there is a turning around. Come Lord God Almighty. Somebody get ready to worship God in this house with me. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters. As I look at the passage. The Bible declares that while the crowd was still there, you know, Bartimaeus received his sight. And it said that after he received his sight, he began to follow Jesus and started to praise him. Oh God Almighty, Jesus. But not only that, it said that and everyone saw and they too began to praise Jesus. Now hear me sometimes. It is good when people know your condition. Because when you step out of it, them also know. And when you step out of it, you can tell them, say, listen, see what the Lord has done. Oh God Almighty. When you step out of it, you can tell them, say, it is not by might. Oh God, not by power, but by the spirit of the Almighty God. Wonder if somebody understand what I'm saying. That when they see you change. Now can you imagine? Remember, you know, it said that all the people. Now I believe that some of those who were telling him to keep quiet. Were the very ones who start to praise now. Because they were astonished. My God, he is now able to see. His condition is no longer the same. Now this man don't need nobody to carry him. Go beg no more. Oh, God Almighty. But not only that. While others saw, the Bible goes on to allow us to recognize that he went also into the temple. Now, all the time that this man was blind, he couldn't go into the temple. Because he had a condition that prevented him from entering the temple. 
Lord God Almighty. But now he was changed. Now he was made new. Now he had sight. And the first thing he do after he done praise God, he do go in the temple and continue to praise him. Oh God Almighty, he started to worship. He started to praise. Brothers and sisters, when God delivers you, oh God Almighty, you can't stay silent. Oh God, when God give you mercy, you can't stay silent. You need to alert somebody that, listen, my life has changed. Oh, that I have received a deliverance. That I have gotten a breakthrough. That there is something new that I has happened to me and I must tell it to somebody somebody need to know that my God is good somebody need to hear that my God is great somebody need to see me worship it somebody somebody you can't stay silent I don't know about you but I wonder if there is somebody in this house where God has healed you and because he healed you you want to jump up and say thank you Jesus where God has delivered you and because he delivers you you want to lift up your hands and give him a shout of glory where God has made a way where there seems to be no way you want to lift up hands and worship God you want to worship him man you want to praise him you want to honor him you want to magnify him this man got back his sight and he began to follow Jesus and said praise be the Lord God Almighty for his mercy endure it forever oh God oh God oh God oh God oh God he was ready to worship God. He was ready to praise God. He was ready to honor God. He was ready to give him glory. He was ready to give him thanks. He was ready to give him praise. He was ready to magnify his name. Ah God, if God has been good to you, you cannot sit down. You cannot keep silent. You cannot keep your hands down. But you want to run. You want to jump. You want to shout. You want to open your mouth and give God praise. Because Jesus... Is visited. Jesus 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 is visited. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Jehovah God. The story of Bartimaeus is a powerful example of the miraculous power of Jesus. And I want somebody to recognize today that it don't have to be an example. It can be an experience. It doesn't have to be an example. It can be an experience. Is there somebody in this crowd that is desperate today? Is there somebody in this crowd like blind Bartimius who said, even though they tell me to shut my mouth, I'm going to shout a little louder. Even though they want me to keep silent, I'm going to cry out even the more. Even though they want to shut me down and prevent my deliverance, I am going to cry out I am in need. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Somebody in this house today. There is a Jesus visit in here. There is a Jesus visit just for you. You're not crying to me. I can't give you mercy. Ah, oh, God, I can do what I can. But there is a Jesus in this house who is ready to fix your circumstance to change your condition to turn you around 
you might be here and you're not a Christian he is also here to help you you can't want the change and don't want the changer you can't want the miracle and don't want the miracle worker you can't want deliverance and don't want the deliverer if you are here and you're not a Christian I invite you to this altar Get ready, praise team, to help us sing. Oh God Almighty, we want to go into this time of worship. Somebody need to cry out for mercy. Somebody need to cry out for the deliverance. Somebody need to cry out for your breakthrough. And it might not just be for you, but cry out for your neighbor. Cry out for your brother. Cry out for your sister. Cry out for your family. Cry out! there is somebody in this house you have a condition where you need mercy there is a condition where you want to cry out for mercy there is a need that you have only Jesus can fix it for you I invite you to this altar but hear me I don't want no spectators at this altar I don't want no spectators in this church even now. Oh, God Almighty. Because if uh, you know what I know, you will have a worship in your mouth. You will have a worship on your lips. You will have a praise in your heart. You will have a worship for God. Worship, 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 worship,
to some of what you are going through but the truth is you know what you are going through you understand where you are and what you are experiencing now even though I might be praying for you I am praying for myself too because I too need mercy now the truth is sometimes because I know what I am going through my shout for myself might be louder than my shout for you. But I'm going to shout for you still. But I want you to hear me clearly today. That the Lord hears your shout. And he knows what you need. When you come to this altar, even if you're not at this altar, because some of us were still prideful and afraid for coming. Is that you are going through shout out to God now let him hear your cry of mercy let him hear your shout of need let him hear your voice echoing in the realms of the spirit so that he will respond even to yours don't depend on me to pray for you cry out to your God he is your God. Somebody online, you might even be at work. Whisper your cry. Whisper your prayer. Talk it. The person next to you now for here, but just vocalize it. The Holy Ghost will take it and echo it in the realm of the spirit. The enemy will hear it and tremble. You will shake the very gates of hell and shake the very foundation of the devil. Crumple and paralyze and tear down. Whatever the devil has set up against you. Today is your day. Today is your time. Mako Satala Baba Limo satama mako saturi biya sandia la ba sheke mako sutu na 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 sheke delebe satia liba sa na 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 sheke ah God Almighty I feel it Jesus yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord saturi biya I want you to hold your hands those at the altar. Hold it out, hold it out. I'm going to put oil in your hands. Oh, God Almighty. My heart, hey. I want you. Maybe your cry is not for you. But wherever there is a situation on your body, 
in your mind. Oh God, even for your family. I want you to rest your hands. Oh God Almighty, as I put oil in it upon your head. Ah, Sata Mama Mako Satya. Libando Satya Mama Shekia. Ah, Sunday Lebe Sheke La Mama Kusutu Rivia. In the name of Jesus, there is a deliverance that is coming. Ah, Sandia Mama. Somebody need you. Somebody need you. There is 
a need. There is a need. There is a need. Mercy. Mercy, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind up every plan of the enemy. I rebuke every strong wall. I tear down every principality. I tear down every power. Every ruler of darkness. Ah, God, every witchcraft, every sorcery, every Omea Walker. Ah, God, every wizard, every witch, every warlock. Hey, Jesus! I pray the whole. I pray the bunch of the enemy. I lose your people. Somebody cry out, cry out, cry out with me. Somebody cry out. Somebody cry out. Somebody cry out. Jesus. 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 I can't want that marriage. I can't want that husband. I can't want those family. Oh, God Almighty. I call them back in the name of Jesus. Jehovah! Devil, you shall not win. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I send the fire. Of the Holy Ghost. Fire, fire, fire. Hallelujah. Oh, 
luz, 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 luz. I declare salvation. I declare healing. I declare deliverance. I declare breakthrough. I declare newness. I declare righteousness. I declare joy. I declare peace. Yeah, God. Fresh touch. Fresh anointing. Newness. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lucio, Lucio, Lucio. Father, I declare Holy Ghost. That even as we are here today, that your Holy Spirit shall move into your people's home. God, I consecrate some homes now to you, God. Father, I say, Holy Ghost, walk through the house. Walk through the living room. Walk through the bedroom. Walk through the kitchen. Walk through the bathroom. Walk through every room. Walk round the house. Rest upon the house. Stop. Be at the gate. Be at the window. Be at the door. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. 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 Yes, 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 yes. inside here I'm hearing this clear there's two things happening and I'm praying for both sets the doctors have diagnosed that you have fibroids and there's another set where maybe there is fibroids but there's also a challenge in getting pregnant if you are here in this house, come to this altar. And if you are online, you need to receive this right now. Lord God Almighty. I am hearing it clear. And I'm calling it out. And if you're here, with that, come. If you're not a Christian, don't leave from this altar. Still stay. Oh, God Almighty. Come, 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 come. Fibroids. An, an issue with getting pregnant. Come. Ah, Sata, my mama, Kushik, India. Come, come, come. Jesus. 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 Woo! God Almighty. Marcus Satan. 
I need some of the prayer ladies to come here, right here, right here now. Come right here now, right here now. Give me your hands. I want you to hold on to the tummies of these ladies. Hey, God. Who 
Shikindi, Mamama Shakia. Ah, burn, 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 burn. Jesus. Fire! Burn, 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 burn. Burn, 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 Every person online that is playing with fibroid, I said, Holy Ghost, fire up on them now. Wherever they are, Daddy God, they shall feel the efficacious power of the Holy Ghost moving inside the body. And they declare healing. Father, that young lady. That wife having an issue the bearing children might be caused by four rights endometriosis whatever it be I declare right now Holy Ghost that the power of the Almighty God shall move upon them right now I declare in the name of Jesus Marcasatia that Lord Jesus, you will cause there to be Almighty God, proper operation. We declare that ovaries are properly formed, eggs are properly formed, the passageway is open. I declare that there shall be free passage for there to be consummation, free passage for there to be Almighty God, fertilization of egg in the name of Jesus. I declare that a testimony shall come that you are about to Almighty God show up in the life of your people. Doctors' reports shall change. Oh God, doctors shall be astonished. Doctors declare that they shall never have children. But I declare and reverse that now in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, that they shall be children. One, two, and three, and four, even five. We must have come forth in the name of Jesus. Right now, Jehovah God. Father, I pray for every soul, every person, and the sound in my voice who is not a Christian, who are in this church or online. I declare salvation in their life even now. A Jesus visit shall reach them and they almighty God shall receive salvation you will act upon their hearts Holy Ghost you will move upon their bodies Holy Ghost and you will bring healing and deliverance and a breakthrough to them salvation now in the name of Jesus somebody shout a hallelujah with me hallelujah. somebody magnify the name of the Lord with me Somebody glorify God with me. Somebody magnify God with me. Somebody lift up our prayers. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Oh God Almighty. Are there any unsafe in this house? Raise up your hands. If you're not a Christian, just lift up your hands. Right where you're there, lift up your hands. Don't be afraid. Lift up your hands. All the prayer team and the counselors, please see these hands. See them right there, some right here. Get them. Oh, God Almighty, get the name. Salvation is here today. Jesus is here today. And somebody must receive. Oh, God, salvation. I declare in the name of Jesus, Father, that you will touch each and every person who have lifted their hands who are not Christians. I declare, oh. God, that there will be a turnaround in their lives right now. That you, Jehovah God, will reach them and will change their hearts. I bring and declare salvation upon them in the name of Jesus. Right now, Daddy God, they shall serve you as God and as King. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a worship. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a worship. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a worship. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody give God a worship. Somebody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hear me. An act 
act of worship is given. An act of praise is given. Ah, oh, God Almighty. I want you to recognize and to understand that listen to me, everybody, I want you to hear me clearly. Your giving is not a detriment. Your giving is not a burden. But your giving is an act of praise. I'm going to ask the praise and worship team to have a lively worship song. And when I'm going to call you to come and give, brothers and sisters, I want to see some people that dance and I come give. I want to see some people that praise and I come give. And listen to me, a praise is something that you do sacrificially. A praise is something that you do willingly. A praise is something that must cause you. Yeah? That's what it is. And I want when you are coming, brothers and sisters, I want as you're about to give, don't just take out anything to give. Have a praise offering. Because Jesus is here, Lord God Almighty. Have a praise offering. Because Jesus is here. Ah, bow your heads with me as I go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I bless the offering that your people are about to give unto you. Almighty God, you know, you see, you understand the need. But Lord God, you say that we should try you and see if you will not open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing, Lord God Almighty. Father, I pray today that you will speak into the life of somebody. Ah, oh God, as they come to give, I declare that they will receive their breakthrough. Ah, oh God, that you will minister unto them mightily, that you will pour out upon them greatly. I declare, God, that as they sow, Almighty God, a seed in this fertile soil that God it will germinate ah uh, God and produce I declare production in the name of Jesus every hand that stretched forth to give you will bless every person that gave wherever they are online givers in house givers oh God promise not givers I pray Jehovah God that you will bless them bountifully in the name of of Jesus. I thank you, Daddy God, that you are here with us and that you'll bless us continually. In Jesus' name we pray. Come, come, come. Uh, sing praise to him. Dance Mighty with your gift. Dance with your gift. Love Hallelujah! Jesus. Oh, and worship God, God as he give. Oh, oh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, God!
Hallelujah left in the house. Hallelujah. Is there another shout left in the house? Hallelujah. What about the third time? What about the fourth time? Hallelujah. What about the fifth time? Hallelujah. What about the sixth time? Hallelujah. Give it up for the seventh time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just find somebody, rest your hand and just bless that person. Rest your hand and somebody, come on, come on, we are closing. Rest your hand, take a minute and bless that person. Come on, man, bless that person. Release the anointing. Release the mirror. Find somebody, find somebody. Whether you are standing beside your friend or foe, come on, take somebody, bless somebody. Come on, my operators upstairs. Come on, my operator upstairs. While you're adjusting my mic, bless somebody. Bless somebody. Take this train off me now. Come on. Bless somebody in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remain standing. We are going home now. Could all our visitors run down here? I cannot call your name. All of our visitors, first time, second timer, third timer. That's where we cut off. Hallelujah. That's where we cut off. You're a first time, a second time, a third time. A, that's where we cut off. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly. Come in the name of the Lord. We have some visitors in the house. We can only tell you that they are here. But for practical purpose, you will hear their names next week. Come a little closer. Don't be afraid. Glory, glory. Some from Sherwood come to worship. Some from America, Canada, England, Jamaica. Amen. St. James, Hanover. We give God thanks for them. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord God. Could you join hands with somebody right now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could the church point at them? They are those with their burdens, with their problems, with their needs. Amen. God is a prayer answering God. Whatever you came for, hallelujah, the Lord has the answer. Whatever you pray for, amen, he has the power 
to bring deliverance, to bring victory. Amen. I have seen cancer patient heal. Amen. Amen. I, I have prayed for somebody sometime at a pastorate. She went home and she passed out a lizard. I have seen that testimony. I have seen persons walk out of the hospital as if they are nine months pregnant. The doctors cannot do anything. They say we can't do anything more. And I have seen prior immediately in the house of God lower that stomach as if she's never been pregnant before. I have seen that. Countless of witnesses, countless of evidences, God has done. He is still the God today. Bow your heart with me right now in the name of Jesus. I don't even have to touch you. Come on. Just release your faith. Can the church stand with me? You have been sitting down all day during the preaching. Come on. I command those ankles and joints to be strengthened now in the name of Jesus. Come on. Help me pray for them. Amen. Help me pray for them. We pray for those online. We have to pray for those in the house as well. Jehovah God, the exalted one, oh, we come in his name on behalf of every visitor. Lord, you know them by name and by number. You know them by their problems, their needs, their hearts, God, whatsoever they are facing, there are those who are here, they're facing mountain of problems. Oh God, rushing waters of trouble. Lord, see before them that is uncrossable. But in the name of Jesus, I release deliverance upon your people now. Be delivered, be set free by the power of almighty God. What the lawyers cannot do, you can. What the doctors cannot do, you can. Hallelujah. What friends and relatives cannot do, you can. You can. What the money in the bank cannot do, yes, you can in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, if demons follow any one of these uh, to fasting today, uh, it is the last because uh, we send them back to the pit of hell. Uh, if there is any sickness, God, uh, that is demonically influenced, uh, we put a stop order right now uh, for those who are plagued at home uh, by visiting demons and devils. Uh, an assignment, God, by the workers of iniquity, I lose them now. I set the house, the home, the yard free by the blood of Jesus. I sprinkle, I splatter, I splash the blood of Jesus upon their dwelling house, upon the yard space, upon the vehicle they drive, upon their families, upon their businesses, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let favor and blessing rest upon them. If there is any curse and destruction, we cut it off now with the blood of Jesus. Father, I stretch my hand towards the table. All manner of symbols are brought to be prayed over. I pray for deliverance. The water, the olive oil, Lord, the prescription, the medication, the oh God, the handbags, the purse, the pocketbook, the wallets, Lord God, the passport, oh God, visa renewal, new visa, oh God, in the name of Jesus, every 
piece of paper that is in the bucket as a written request right now God I claim blessing over them now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus victory 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 by the blood of Jesus by the blood of Jesus father father the Shiwadites I pray deliverance in the name of Jesus I pray for brother Hilton that is under attack but every weapon formed against him shall not prosper I pray God for Sophia Robinson and family Jolene and family and business I pray God prosperity achievement success Lord I pray for the Englandites the English crew I pray for the Americanites Lord God that tap into this ministry I pray Lord God for the Canadians right now they are online some aren't but I cover them in your blood every country every island in the Caribbean I pray for them now in the name of Jesus every parish across this nation let you the seal of your blood do the job the prime minister and his cabinet parliament at large opposition leader and his group the security forces Lord God Lord God the chamber of commerce the mayor Mayor Vernon of Montego Bay I pray I pray for him deputy prime minister oh God remember our MP also oh God honorable here I clap speak up the house I cover him I cover his family I pray for every pastor every pastor of the world every pastor of Jamaica every denomination oh God oh God every pastor in Montego Bay bless their ministry bless their church Lord remember the street side vendors the cook shop Lord the jerk pan jerk pork jerk chicken chicken neck chicken back Lord God every jerky every rosy arm seller Charles Market seller push card seller I pray blessing and promotion in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on now everybody remove one foot of your shoe raise it in the air come on stoop down whether it's ugly nice dirty clean come on right now in the name of Jesus come on raise it Lord our shoe is lifted to you now your God as a point of contact you said in your word anywhere the sole of our feet shall touch we shall be blessed oh God prosperity will follow us miracle shall be our portion hallelujah hallelujah somebody show blessing come on online us take off your shoe your slipper raise it up I pray a blessing I pray prosperity accomplishment success healthy body healthy family oh God oh God in the name of Jesus every attacker every attacker spiritual attacker Lord we cut it down we cut it down 
We cut it down. Come on, raise up now. We let the pretty ugly, uh, our obnoxious. Come on, uh, we cut it down. Uh, bless us, uh, bless Lord, uh, bless the house, uh, bless the yard, uh, bless the gate, uh, bless the business, uh, bless the unsafe poses, bless the picnic. Them uh, save or no save, uh, trouble or no trouble. Uh, I pray, blessing. Hallelujah. Yea, though we walk, somebody help me, through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. Father, what with me, thy rod and staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest our head with oil our cup somebody say my cup my cup shall run over surely surely lift it up surely goodness mercy shall follow all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever 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 come here pastor two pastors come here forever come quick no put on your shoes yet come take it all back in the name of Jesus hold on I soon talk to you take off your shoes let me anoint your wound first in the name of Jesus this one won't come come warm to this warm to this come in the name of Jesus what I do you don't understand come on take this one anoint come spirit in mind all right come everybody just pray in their shoes Amen. As you, as you get your spray, go back to your seat. And everybody, come now. Come. Form a line here, sir. Well, no, but not, not here, sir. Not here, sir. Over there, sir. Over here, sir. And then when you go, when you get your thing spray, you go down to your sir. Form a line. Come on. Come. Pray, Steve. Why don't you here, sir? Mighty come on, come. man of God. Come on. Give them some. Give them some. Give them some. Oh, we bow down and we worship you. For me. Yahweh, 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 come and do what only you can do. In the name of Jesus. Of In the name of Jesus. Lord, of Judah. Lord I pray for oh, Tasha. I pray for Iris. I pray for Turi. I pray for Spandra. Christopher, Tia, Lord, I raise this to you. This envelope, whatever the report is, I find it now in the name of Jesus. Yes, do that quickly for me now. In the name of Jesus. Come on now, come on now. Give us our good music. Yahweh, 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 come and do what only you can do. Yes, mighty man, mighty man of war. Lord, touch their voices. Of Judah. We bow down. We bow down yes, that's so.
things he has done what a day in his presence what a day in his presence could you point to the servant of God could you just, just take a minute and bless him every piece of clothes on him is wet father bless your servant keep him from relapse keep him from flu keep him keep his body in the name of Jesus no sickness shall befall him Touch his wife, touch his household in the name of Jesus. Give him another word. Oh God, I release the blessing upon the church, upon the wider audience, upon our children in the name of Jesus, upon musicians, upon singers. Oh God, upon everybody. Bless in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen. What a beauty to be in the house of God. Amen. I invite you back next week. Don't feel, don't feel any way to take a friend. Tell somebody. Pay the fear. Come into the house of God. Encourage them. Amen. I yes saw the power of God there. <laughs> Nothing else. No gimmicks. No selling a prayer. No selling a miracle. Prayer and the power of God. Amen. I give God thanks for every visitor and everyone online. Oh my God. What a supporting group online. We continue to pray for them. God bless you. Tonight at 6, 630 Bible study. I will continue my presentation on the rapture of the church. A catching away of the church and the last things that will happen. Please come out. Don't sit in the back. Come to the front. Amen. Come to sing and to worship the Lord. Amen. This Sunday evening at about 5, 6 o'clock, there will be the 5, 5 o'clock, there will be the uh, retirement service for one of God's champion, Reverend Bishop Ken Smith, right here. I want everybody to be out, support it, support him. In the name of the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. If I don't get to shake your hand today. Amen. Um, there are some more pressing things to take care of. And I'll be oosh out of here. Remember to refresh yourself at the back. They are looking for you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>